It is Sandra Schmurler Day right here on TSN. We're approaching the $100,000 mark, and that is all thanks to you at home. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Mudrick, and today is a special day honoring one of the greatest curlers we've ever seen. Sandra Schmurler was a three-time Scotties champion, a three-time world champion, and won an Olympic gold medal for Canada. Sadly, we lost her way too soon at the age of 36. She lost her battle with cancer back in 2000. However, what a legacy Sandra leaves behind, helping babies in crisis right across Canada, over this time, the foundation has raised over $3.2 million. We're trying to make a lot more today, helping babies in crisis across Canada, including communities like right here in Grand Prairie, Alberta. So please, you can donate, call the number on your screen, or go online. We're with you all afternoon long. It is Sandra Schmurler Day, right here on TSN. Lots of sunshine, blue sky, but cold on this Sunday afternoon here in Grand Prairie, currently minus 10, but they say it's going to warm up and be above freezing by the end of next week. Draw three went this morning here, Revolution Place. Saskatchewan was tied with Ontario in the 10. And Jolene Campbell and her team from Regina needed to draw the lid. Shot stone top four. But this one would sail on through as Ontario goes on to steal the win, their first here in Grand Prairie. Alberta against Newfoundland and Labrador. Chelsea Carey actually led 4 0 at one point, but Newfoundland and Labrador got back into it, and Carey then needed this last shot to score one as she picked up the win, make the final 6 4, and she wins for a second time. In other scores, Nova Scotia, Jill Brothers back, feeling much better, and it showed on the ice as she wins 9-3 over Manitoba. And Team Canada beats PEI 9-4. Jen Jones curling 89%, Suzanne Burt 74%. So at the top of the table, Alberta with their two straight wins, and at the bottom, still very early on the second day of round robin play, Newfoundland and Labrador at 0-2. And on this Sunday afternoon, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Grand Prairie, our continuing coverage. Day two of the uh, Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Cheryl Russ alongside, as always. Quebec, Marie Franz LaRouche makes the Scotties for the first time since uh, 2012. Problem with her is which team shows up? Yeah, you're right. Uh, only two spiels on tour. That's not enough in a big event like this. Uh, but they looked incredibly good in their opening game against Ontario. It's an experienced team played awfully well all four the numbers were high can they repeat that time and time again through a long week yeah that's the question mark the consistency for Saskatchewan you saw the highlight to Jolene Campbell heavy with the draw albeit she had to uh, put it on the lid but if they miss the playoffs at the end of the week they may look at that one as uh, a game that got away absolutely you hate to give away a game that you had control of and the worst thing for a skip is giving away a game that you had a draw to win. It's always hard on the mind, hard on the psyche. So for her, with such short turnaround time today, you're going to have to shake that off, get back out there and try to end the day at one and one. A reminder, of course, it is a Sandra Schmurler day. Well, our, we are all wearing our pins. We urge you to make a call, make a donation. It's all about supporting neonatal care centers across the country. Sandra Schmurler day. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Tim Hortons, official copy of Curling Canada. And by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Our goal is to uh, be playing still on the weekend, so we know that if we can come in here and get seven or eight wins, that um, we'll be in a good position to do that. And we were able to do that at our provincial, going seven and one, so we're confident we can make that happen here as well. I'm very excited because uh, it's a uh, long time ago. Uh, I'm older, but uh, I'm ready to be here. We always want to 
to represent Quebec and we are very happy and very exciting. And that is our featured matchup draw four on this Sunday afternoon, Quebec against Saskatchewan. Marie Flanders LaRouche against Jolene Campbell. And it's time to meet the teams now. And it's brought to you by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, my name is Marie-France Larouche from Team Quebec. Our lead is Julie Rainville, our second is Annie Lemay, our third is Brenda Nichols, and we curled out of the HMN Curling Club in Levy. Hi, I'm Jolene Campbell, skip of Team Saskatchewan. Our lead is Ashley Williamson, second, Callan Hammond, third, Ashley Howard, and we curl out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. Saskatchewan has won the last rock draw, so they will have the hammer here in this first end of play. Playing the yellow stones, Quebec will play the red, and to get us underway, the My Quebec set. lead is Julie Ranville. Well, Jamie Barraza has outdone himself again. We we talked about uh, in December at the Canada Cup, it might be the best surface he's ever made. He, he might have even brought it up another notch. It's a great surface. It's getting a shade quicker every game. We watched Jolene Campbell slide one through to lose that game, and there's another one deep. I think that will be the trend here. Who's going to pick up on that little bit quicker speed than we saw yesterday? Is that the key for uh, an elite curler then, Russ, when you say the ice is getting better? Is it just about speed or are there other things? Well, it, it, there's, there are other things, but in this case, that stayed the same, which is the swing. The swing is still outside edge of the eight foot, which is fabulous. Four feet of curl is just about perfect. They've got about four feet, five inches, six inches right now. Oh, it oh, tends oh, oh, to straighten out as the week goes along because the rocks get a bit, wee bit smoother. They wear down a little bit, but uh, they've got a few tricks to help that stay consistent too. But the curl's been unbelievable, but it's the speed that uh, I found a, a little different today. Nice. There's a lot of speed there. Yeah. Well, you heard Kathy talking in this morning's draw where Jamie was trying to get it up to about 15 yeah. seconds. So he was getting the, you know, it was getting keener and keener. And that, like you said, is something the teams have to pay attention to. A good start for Jolene. She gets the hammer with the draw to the yep. button. Made it perfectly. So that's that'll be good for her mentally. That's the difference at this level, isn't it? You know, you're, this is a good example. This game, you're playing uh, Marie-France LaRouche in her seventh Canadian championship. Nobody on Saskatchewan's played in the event. Jolene's been a fifth, but it's, it's as you said in the opening, can they park in a, maybe an hour and a half that loss, turn it around and make some shots? Well, Steph LeDrew has the afternoon off, and uh, we've managed to... Uh, Dig up Kathy Gauthier. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome back, Kathy. Oh, thank you with that intro. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when you look at this Quebec team in 2013 after a provincial championship with only two wins. Marie France said, I need to step away. But one of the things she missed beyond the curling was her relationship with Annie LeMay. They have been best friends, but because Marie France lives in a different part of Quebec and Annie lives in Gatineau, which is near Ottawa, they never saw each other. So it was the lure of playing and winning again and most importantly, that friendship that brought them back. And I think that if you talk to Russ and Cheryl, for sure myself, it is chemistry on teams that takes you that extra edge. And that's what this team has, even though they don't have the reps. Yeah, that's so right, Kathy. You know, those are the teams you're always afraid to play. They just had that that team chemistry that could, they could get the best out of each other. Well, it's, it can't be a job out there. It's got to be fun. And if you don't have friends on the team, it sometimes it gets to be a long season. And uh, Kathy's so right. Yeah, I know it's backwards. I think that's what's happened a little bit with, you know, curling becoming more and more popular over the last few years. It's you've got to be really careful. It goes from being something you do because you love to now it becomes mm -hmm. a job. There's mm -hmm. sponsor pressure. There's expectation. And you really got to always try to get back to doing it because you love it. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about this Quebec team and the keys, Russ. <laughs> well, I'd like to see them throw some long guards because Marie France, she made a shot last night uh, for four that was almost unmakeable. Skidded by a guard, just went through the edge of it, just at enough speed to pump it out, stay for four. That's her go-to shot. So you need some rocks out there to allow her to play those soft shots. 
up and down the sheet here in this first. As we play uh, second stones, Callan Hammond. Now the keys for uh, Saskatchewan. Well, I think really based on that um, miss by Jolene, it's going to be all about mental focus. That can separate the good skips from the great. And I, I, you go out there and you get absorbed in the game and you try not to think about that miss and you just focus on ice and your team. And then also you've got to look at your team's support. They can show support in two ways, just by the confidence that they show Jolene and also by the shot making. The three of them have been playing great so far. Keys to the game are brought to you by World Financial Group. Helping Canadians have better financial futures. I looked across the sheets this morning from the uh, Sandra Schmirler telethon and I saw nothing but blanks. And then again here in this first, seeing nothing but blanks. Uh, could develop on maybe one sheet, but that's why last night when Prince Edward Island put up that corner in the first, we were. We sort of looked at ourselves and went, really? You know, it's, it's, breaking news. Yeah, breaking news. Just... You can see sometimes, you know, that we talked earlier about the tight turnaround. You can, you know, a lot of times we would talk when it was a tight back-to-back -back game, we would come out and try to get a breather, get settled in. Because mm -hmm. you've had to have so many things happen from the last game to the start of this game. you got to debrief. You've got to get something to eat. you got to park any misses. And then you got to prep for this game. Sometimes you just need a couple kind of no thinking yes. in. Well said, because it's, it's, it, it, when you lose a game in a bond spiel, it's you don't have a, you know half hour practice time before a game starts, so it's even more condensed. So you go to the press, you regurgitate what happened. There's a bit of a post mortem if you lose. You try to grab a snack, and then you're there a half hour. You're normal throwing rocks. It's 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 short. Ashley Howard throwing the third stones. Russ's daughter. It is a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a story in itself because uh, you and I saw each other during the summer when you came to visit, and uh, she didn't have a team, and uh, it's a remarkable thing that this team came together very late, and look what they've done. Yeah, it's it, it certainly is. They you know, only playing them through these fields. They couldn't find a second stone to the last second, and luckily for them, brought in Callan, who's just played. Unbelievable in the last five or six games I've watched. It uh, it's tough when you don't have a pile of sponsors and you have to play ten or twelve spiels to be prepared for an event like this. Skip Stones, Marie Franz Larouche played uh, just two events on the women's tour. Qualified in one of them that was in Cornwall, Ontario. Sorry, well, that is the argument, though, that you, you hear often do the teams that play so much on tour, how do they plan to peak for provincials? And the teams that haven't played a ton, both these teams, only two events, they're excited when they get to that provincials and they're, they're ready to play. And are the other teams a little bit tired? Have they played too much? It's a tough balance to find. We used to work with a periodization coach that would try to say, you pick two, three, four events in the year that you're going to peak for, and you set lay out a plan completely mm -hmm. to peak for those events. You mentioned the two events that uh, Jolene Campbell played. They qualified in just one, and that was in Medicine Hat. Boy, oh boy. Think she got it started or just got caught in a, a curly bit? Both. I, it, there's definitely Pebble. We talk about that all the time down the center. You just forget that there's uh, nobody's played there, so it's going to grind. It's going to slow down. It's going to curl more. But I think she helped out one a little bit. A little quiet. I thought Ash threw there, so you wouldn't wouldn't get the fresh Pebble. But yeah. And actually, hers I thought she was hair tight, and we still. Yeah, and she threw like her. Wrong rock to miss. It's going to be hard to outdraw that one right on the pin. The room was outside edge of the eight, and as we see so often now, it's a carbon copy almost right now. It doesn't really do anything until now. Watch it curl. Now they're worried about it over curling. No, 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 no. Okay. And it will. It'll leave a, a good half stone exposed. Almost the entire rock. That'll be one of the hardest shots, especially end number one when it's this. 
crispy. When you saw a hit miss by that much, it's hard to take enough ice on a draw. But really, I mean, she did draw it into the top 12, so mm -hmm. uh, but the force is on here. But what happens, Vic, is when you throw it that six feet lighter, mm -hmm. it starts to curl at that eighth of an inch sooner partway down, and it's into a slightly different path, and away it goes. It's, it's almost like your right hand wheels on a, on a dirt road. You catch, it, you catch the dirt instead of the pavement, and it's going to move it. It's unbelievable how different it can be just by taking that five, six feet off. This can be a tough shot for Jill Lane because mm. you can just see all of it. You know you want to throw a little down weight to make sure you stick around, but you just watch stuff curling like crazy to the center line. Normally, Jolene's out turns positive out, too. If anything, it's usually on the high side, so she doesn't want to oversteer yep. this and miss it the other Forward. way. Clean. Yep, perfect. Final yeah, stone facing two here in the yep. first. Clean. Jolene Campbell. Clean. Williamson will take it in and sit right there. Bangs it on the beat for a single. So that miss by Campbell results in Saskatchewan having to take one. We are in Grand Prairie and a mile zero of the Alaska Highway. It starts here. Come out of our hotel, you see, turn left, Alaska. These are the other games on the ice, uh, Alberta and uh, Chelsea Carey trying to win three in a row. We're playing on sheet B. And on sheet C, it's Nova Scotia coming off that big win earlier this morning against Northern Ontario. And uh, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Labrador, one of those will win their first. No updates to tell you about. All the other three were blank first games. Here at Revolution Place, originally Canada Games Arena back in 1995 when it opened. Seat some 3,200, home of the Grand Prairie Storm, the Alberta Junior Hockey League. So that one miss, that flash by Saskatchewan skip Jolene Campbell, and she was forced to hit and stick for the single. Here in the second, it will be Quebec. And Marie Franz LaRouche, that does have the last rock, she has the hammer playing the Redstone. You can see both leads coming Good into start. this at 83 percent so that's going to be the key okay. is those setup shots by both leads can put the pressure on pretty easy two beauties right out the hop there nice angle on that yellow saskatchewan stone you might see two choices here for marie is to tap it unlock that yellow that you can tap it out later or just simply freeze for now only, only option is plan c and not be heavy Oh. Nice curling. Thanks. So I get three, three, three? Four. Yeah. Where did you like the first come around? If you're the team with Hammer, in this case, Quebec, that one's top buttons. But where you'd like it or hair high? Biting forefoot. I didn't like it that, you know, mm -hmm. that deep, right? They start freezing <clears throat> on you and it was too deep. Top 12, wait, oh. good. Even top eight foot's always a tough, mm -hmm. or not top, but probably eight foot's not an easy shot for the opposition to deal with. Yeah, because if they try to get around it, it's pretty hard to bury it completely. Yeah, I guess. Gotta curl a mile. Hard, hard, hard. <sighs> okay. Neither of these skips are scared of putting rocks in play. No. Both teams score a lot of points with Hammer. Like the offensive style game. Well, there comes a point when you got to go say this, I've seen enough. And um, mm -hmm. Marie Franz LaRouche will try to get rid of that center guard roll to a corner. Well, that just speaks to her experience. She knows when to bail. She's a smart skip. Well, she's got some nice angles there, too, with the red ones. Her middle red one should hang around for a while. Yes, yes! Now roll it over a little bit more and they'll get it off the center line was maybe hoping to get it a little wider covering the edge of the eight. Yeah, those don't look like a huge mistake the roll, but you always want to leave yourself a path with your last stone for Marie Fronson to not roll far enough away, that takes one of her draw paths exactly. away. I don't really 
want to move this, but. Yeah. Yeah. How bad is freezing to ours? Probably uh, just makes it go. Yeah. So oh, that's all. Just we could. This, you're probably not killing this. Right. Should you stay though? Get rid of this one. I don't think I'd want to play it that quiet because I'd like I would wait I would want to make sure this is going out. Yeah. Right? And you can only see half of it. That was my first thought. Okay, right there. Even this isn't bad though. Yeah. I don't think. I like the freeze call here for a couple reasons. You know, in here, in here, in there, they're all usable stones that make it probably two shots for Quebec to get it out of there. They talked about hitting that red one, but that might dislodge that yellow that's uh, frozen already, and that's the one they want to keep there if you're trying to steal or shrink that scoring area. Mine's a little tight. You're okay for line. The three. hit would have been difficult, too. Hey, it would have been three. real tough. I like this call. Three. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Whoa, whoa. Just fine. bite. Okay, well, well, just short. Well, well, just, let it sit. just bite. Good, Callan. That's good. Well, that's where she put down the brush, Jolene Campbell. Yeah. I don't know. I know. Jaune, le double des jaunes, dans le fond. Ils sont jaunes. C'est bon? Ouais. Ouais. Je pense que oui. That was the tolerance, and you know, a little bit light was way better than bouncing off and setting up a yellow double. So it's a, it's a spot that Quebec has to deal with it. Let's go. Try the basically the straight back double. You might even roll in the rings here. Oh, which gets a little scary for mm. Saskatchewan. Annie LeMay in her eighth oh. Scotty's appearance. Her husband, Jean Michel Menard, wow, Whoa. former Whoa. Canadian Whoa. Briar champion, Whoa. angles it back, splits it around, and will hold on to that shooter, top edge of the 12. That's a brilliant oh. shot. What a nice shot. Sorry. Didn't, didn't disturb anything around the forefoot either. And great to stick around. <laughs> Team Saskatchewan doesn't mind that yellow one where it is. So he's going to hit this, maybe roll back in and try to make another guard out of it. Control. Oh. 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 Hair firm. Yes! Lost it. Yeah, they called a hair firm, but I don't think it was, and she didn't call the sweep on it right away. Well, just a reminder, up in that uh, corner of the uh, of Revolution Place, that's where it's all happening. The Sandra Schmerler Telethon continues. We thank you if you've already made a donation. We urge you to make a call if you haven't. All in support of neonatal care centers across Canada. They've already had uh, helped hospitals in all the provinces, including the Northwest Territories, and uh, this year hope to hold help hospital in the Yukon. Yes. Brenda Nichols. Another nice shot. Not only unlocked it, but rolled buried. Even if Saskatchewan makes the double, they've got that nice one underneath cover, that third red. Lots of pebble in the spot. Very similar throw to where Jolene missed completely. Oh, very nice. Whoa, whoa. The angle double and holds the shooter behind cover. T line, edge of the eight. Good, Good shot. Bud. That lets them breathe a little bit. Good, Good shot. Yeah. Probably should have hit it on your first one. Yeah, I like to do the three, though. <laughs> yeah. Nice to hang around, too. 
Yeah, I just washed the first one. I thought you had but done one. There is a double here. It just, just lost. Yeah. yeah. There'd be two berry reds if this is made perfect. Yeah, nice. Isn't too yeah. flat. I don't think so. Okay. Even if you rolled over beside Whoa. it, you'd sit two. Whoa, Jeanine. Brenda Nichols. Jeanine. Yes. Julie Randall yes, trying go, go, go. to hold the line. They'll bang it on the beat. Right, you just go. sit right there. They are sitting the two. I thought they were going to go the other way there. It was at an audible right halfway down. I, I yeah, think, I think because she looked like she came out. I'm right behind the sheet. She came up pretty tight. So now there's room to kick in behind and maybe even move that top red closest to uh, the viewers out of the eight foot area. I just bored. Same way I threw last time. Soften the weight with this amount of ice, maybe a board weight. If you could hit about half of the shot rock, hit the back side of that red one, you'll stay buried. They're trying to go the other way, and they uh, just brushed it in time to kick over partly Sorry, behind the corner there. I think they got caught a little. If Brenda's overcurling, you kind of be careful. It's close, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Uh, from my eye, it appears close that for you, uh, imagine that's that's awesome. the red was you shot. Another look. Okay. It is really close. Okay. Uh, mostly uh, open, so if you're any doubt on who shot, you have to make this go away. Okay. Well, not enough room to roll to the right and sit frozen, so they'll probably either nose or roll back a little bit towards forefoot. Mm -hmm. Be scary to play around with that guard. So that first one of Brenda's was so key. She, she not only took out the Saskatchewan Rocket roll, there it is, top eight, very. Our first update of the afternoon is on the sheet A, British Columbia, Alberta. Alberta with last rock after they blanked the first and uh, a chance to get a couple. Kathy? It is for sure. On Carla's first stone, Carla Thompson, the skip from BC, was trying to tap a stone back, but it rolled to the open side. That allowed Chelsea Carey to hit and lie too. And when the BC skip rolled out on her final stone, it is almost any piece of the paint. There is a biter at the back belonging to BC. Just nibbling the back edge of the uh, 12 at about the uh, 7 o'clock position. Hard. Hard. Hard, guys. Hard, go, go, go. Hard, hard. It's a big carry here for Jocelyn Peterman, Laney Peters, and here can Amy Nixon. Urging them on, and they'll drag it to the eight foot for two. So Alberta trying to win three in a row will pick up the deuce here in the second. Marie France just made a great shot, perfect weight to be able to get some finish a little bit. You'll say that quite a few times this week, perfect weight with Marie. That like, the shot you made for four, like I mentioned earlier, was unbelievable. And that makes those shots so much easier. Just throw the exact right weight and use your brushers. No, she's not known as a big hit. No, nope. you know, hit her big weight. She's known for all her touch shots. Trying to roll back underneath cover here. Roll, control, clean, clean. roll, clean. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, hard. hard. Jolene hard. Campbell. Hard. Final hard. stone, Saskatchewan. Oh. Oh. Last yep. rock belongs to Quebec. Okay. And she'll hit it right there and sit right there. Like hold that a little bit better. Good tweet. Yeah, it's good throw. Yeah. Even yeah. mine came up pretty hard there at the end. Yeah. So. Well, I was thinking yours looked like it just kind of caught fresh. Yeah. So I didn't want to take too much so more. Because mine was so late, right? Light. I think there's more curl inside out. We talked about it yesterday, and they're blaming it on the pebble, but I think there's a wee bit more curl off that center line. I agree. Go ahead. Good discussion, though, trying to, you know, at least mm -hmm. keep the talk up, mm -hmm. share some information. 
for the next shot coming down. Final stone. Marie France LaRouche. Hit, sit, two. Circle back. They'll take the lead. 2 1. It's draw for Sunday afternoon in Grand Prairie. 44 curlers started the week with a chance to drive away in an all new 2016 Ford Edge Sport in the annual Ford Hot Shots competition. That number trimmed down to just two. The final, PEI's Robin Green against Team Canada's Jennifer Jones. And Jones, the five time Scottish champion, came up so big in that final round, almost perfect, scoring 29 of a possible 30 points. So, Jennifer Jones wins the Ford Hot Shots, and with it, a two year lease on the Made in Canada 2016 Ford Edge Sports. And Team Canada not on the ice this afternoon, coming off a win this morning over PEI. Let's update Nova Scotia and Northern Ontario. Nova Scotia sitting the two top eight, back eight, final stone on the way for Krista McCarville. Well, Jill Brothers already lying too. Elected on her final stone to guard on the far side, forcing Krista to the intern. Now, whether that was a plan because the ice is different out here, I'm not sure. But it is forcing this draw. Needs the forefoot, Vic. Well, it's a big carry now for the team from the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay, and she'll be light. They waited a long time to start sweeping. So it's a steal of two for Nova Scotia and Jill Brothers on the Mayflower in Halifax. Uh, Jill missing yesterday's opening draw because of the flu, but back today and eating a little bit, she was telling me, just uh, barely was able to keep things down, played this morning, came up with a a big win to even their record at one and one that was in this morning's draw a win over manitoba 9-3 they in fact just stole seven of those points as we welcome you back sunday afternoon day two of our coverage the fourth draw from revolution place quebec gets two in the second so here in the third it is saskatchewan that does have last rock they have the hammer playing the yellowstone Great start by Ashley Williams and almost rolled right behind the guard when she played the tick shot. The girls call her Ask and Minnie. <laughs> She's so tiny and a tribute to Dawn's original name, maiden name, <laughs> Ask and but she makes a lot of those soft weight shots and uh, almost yeah, rolled it underneath, like you said. I love that call. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. yeah. It does two yeah. things. It's not defensive at all. It opens yes, up. You can put a lot of pressure on the yeah. opposition. You get right behind yes, that corner yes, guard. Yes, 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 yes. Like you say, too, it should drag the play to the corners, which is what the team with Hammer wants, as opposed to fighting that center line guard all the time. It's, it's impressive, too, with a team like Saskatchewan when they don't play on tour as much and they're not on the yep. arena ice because it is it is definitely an easier good. shot to make on arena ice. You get used oh. to what it'll do. It's tougher in the club. That's why you don't see it as often there. Hard. Anything, Ash. Right over. That's fine, Count. Saw some of these teams in practice actually practicing the mm -hmm. tick shot because they haven't had the access to the arena ice as much, so they want to get a feel for what weight they can throw and how much ice. Lively striking bands have to make it that much easier. You can throw it softer and get that explosion when it hits. Yeah. You used to have to throw more like a board weight on some curling clubs, and it's just so hard. Yep. I up. Yep. The thing that's always stood out for me, though, if you are a first timer here, as is this entire team, although Jolene, we mentioned, was three-time alternate with uh, Amber Holland and was part of her Canadian championship team in uh, 2011. When you walk in and compared to a curling club with four basically cinder block walls in most cases, and now you see the depth of the seats, you see the depth beyond the sheet. That, to my mind, would take some adjustment, Cheryl. 
It feels so different. I mean, even something as simple as how well your voice carries down to the other end to talk to your players, what it feels like to throw a draw, how fast the ice is when you slide out. It's just so many things that you have to adapt to so quickly. Good call, Joe. There you go. It's really big, the communication when you get to an event like this to talk amongst each other at night and the de debriefing because you can really share a lot of great information that, you know, fast tracks that getting used to playing in this arena and in this venue. Brenda Nichols in her fourth Scotty's appearance. She skipped the uh, Quebec champions back in 2005 in uh, St. John's. <laughs> Makes the angle raise and they will sit three without. Beautiful shot to hang around like that's key. They've got a usable rock at the top, but more importantly, it keeps that blank away from Saskatchewan. Oh. Always on ice surfaces like this, you'd always rather have your opponent playing a uh, yep. hit and roll underneath yep. cover than, yep. than actually trying to make yep. a come around because the come around so easy with this big curl. Ashley Williamson. Shot stone still belongs to Quebec. But if you over curls inside out, that seems to be a theme. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that. This seems to be the truer turn. They're both great. It's just you have to take a little more ice on the other side. And you're right. Normally, if there's going to be a turn that doesn't have as much curl or a spot, it's going to be kind of going out to the wings. Mm -hmm. Jamie's got it perfect both directions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean, clean. Candy LeMay jumped it early. Yep, 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 yep. Now that late movement. Is this no, going to no, roll? No, Where is no, this no. going to stop? No, oh, it'll no, pop no, out the no, inside. No, no. That jumped. It really did. That was a lot of speed. That was like a, a heavy 10. It was coming pretty hard. It still curled. late to hit your way out of it so they're going to go to the offense here try to glue one on the corner Line's good. Back forward. Whoa, then. Back eight. no off then where back eight back eight back four back four right. down then right to it right to it room no bump no room. bump right now back four carol no no, no. okay just bumps Sorry, it back, guys. sits for shot stone, but not glued to the corner. That's the difference, uh, you know, awfully close on speed, but not good enough because it's wide yeah, open, really. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just the difference between just sweeping weight. Yeah. yeah, good. Be there, wait. I was thinking about getting Callan on it, but I didn't know, and then it started coming down, yeah, so then I thought, well, now I don't want to. <laughs> that was okay. it. That's the part that the teams uh, always have trouble with right now with this. Uh, conversion to the directional brushing in this case Callan could have swept it on the on the right hand side to get a little more curl but you're you're you played so many years by if it's heavy why are we sweeping it a little more curl there even though it was heavy would have lined it up on a better angle Marie France try to roll she'll roll under to the left light yep yep there whoa, has been whoa, way less discussion whoa, though in sweeping whoa, with Annie, the hair brooms going ahead. And there's not as been yeah. as much confusion. Annie LeMay trying to avoid the jam. Oh, and she's going to tick it on the way by. Spill it out the back. Still sitting three without. A couple choices here. You can actually come down here, hit this, and we saw one last night like that in the Newfoundland game, and it'll run right across because the yellow rock will be spinning so much when it hits here, it could go across. There it is. They just called it there now. Now, if you weren't with us yesterday and you haven't been following the game, Cheryl brings up the point that the hairbrushes have been banned. The, uh, they found that they were scratching the ice too much so uh, no hairbrushes to be used here at the Scotties. Like, if we make that we're we're up here yeah right? exactly. so it's not like not. she's gonna stick it here yeah. i don't know what are you thinking i don't mind that or this but she's snotting it in here let's play this yeah 
you. Yeah. I like that call. You get two things. You get the double out of it, and you also get the roll. You could roll right behind the guard. It's 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 also keeps the blank alive. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get it partly buried, they hit and roll out. You, go, you know, there aren't only one red in play, and you get your blank. Now you're going to see Jolene Campbell throw with a hairbrush. They do allow that because of the balance factor. You get used to that block of wood. For you may also see a, a hairbrush being used behind the tee line. That's okay, but brushing the stone down the ice, it's all in synthetics now. Yeah, most of the players throw with a hair because of the stability. Whoa, whoa. Jolene Campbell, her first. Right in between. One, two, and backed it up. And we'll sit there. It was almost a crotch shot, basically. Yes, it hit them both at the same time. Just brushed it too far, actually threw it through the break. Any more curl, and that thing does go over. It's fun. Really good. I thought it was going to stick right there. Yeah. Now a chance for Quebec to roll underneath here with a nice soft weight hit. What? Expect Marie Franz to be close. She just threw this spot. She did, and probably overthrew it. So she probably bring her weight down here just to get a little bit more movement. Maybe because it was a missile. Yeah. Nice, Yes. 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 Not quite. Sit it's top four. But sitting the deuce. Five. <laughs> Very good shot. You could argue that's better than fully buried because then the draw would be a little bit easier. Now you have to go after this thing. And you have to flirt with that top red one. Well, let me ask you, would you play, would you risk playing the straight back double and your shooter would be outside and go for the blank? Yeah, you'd see a lot of teams do that. You might see a Kevin Cooey give that a shot. It, it all depends on... Do you know that spot? How comfortable you feel? Because it mm -hmm. that brings in a possible steal also. This is the same spot Jelaine threw mm -hmm. in the first end to get her one. So pretty certain of the ice and the weight to throw here. Jolene clean, Campbell. Clean only. Clean. Clean. Facing a couple with her last. Clean only. Yep. Clean. Crystal job. Well done. We get the one here in three. We get it up two apiece. Welcome back to Grand Prairie, Alberta. It is Sandra Schmirler Day here on TSN. A lot of great volunteers, and I see, though, there's some people that are... Who's not busy back there? Hands up. Okay, there's a couple phones we got to light up. We're raising money right across Canada for a really important cause, and that is Babies in Crisis. Sandra Schmirler was an amazing curler, three-time Scotty's champion, three-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist, and we lost her in 2000 as she passed away from cancer. But what a legacy that she leaves behind as we're helping babies right across the country. So you wonder where your money goes to. Well, when you have a little one and you're a parent and you're nervous about what your little guy or girl is going through, well, here's some visuals of the equipment that we're spending right across Canada, every province, every territory. You want to make a donation? This is what you're helping to do. 1-866-210-6011. The website as well, doing some phenomenal work. And what's even really special, not only to us at TSN to help out each and every year, but the players have been here all day long. We have none of it here. We have the territories here. They want to get busy and light up those phones. So if you can, we're here all day long. It is supporting babies in crisis because we all know champions. They certainly do start small. So call the number, get on the website, and help us out on Sandra Smirler Day on TSN. This is how we see it, so you see it at home. Our coverage, day two, of the uh, Scotties. From Grand Prairie, Saskatchewan get their single in the third to tie it at two. And so here in the fourth, it will be Quebec that once again have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Redstones. And may I just add one thing to, uh, to Brian's comments. 100% of what you donate goes to neonatal care. 
have no doubt about that. 100% going to uh, babies in crisis. Hard draw path. Okay. Had the pleasure of curling with Sander and that wonderful team out of uh, Saskatchewan at the uh, 93 Worlds uh, with my brother. And uh, just, I can't say enough about it. It wasn't the curling, it was the, the type of people. It's just, just a fantastic lady. It's so much for the sport off the ice, too. Yeah, very special. And I, we've told this story many times as we watch uh, Callan Hammond throwing the second stone. Uh, well, Shot asshole. stone belongs to Quebec. No, and it's sitting there. top four. You'll see it come into a view there, covered, and now another third center line guard goes up. But her biggest thrill, one of her biggest thrills, was in that Olympic village in Nagano in 1998 and being sitting on the bench or sitting on a couch watching television or doing whatever and getting a tap on the shoulder from behind and looking up and the voice saying, Sandra, we are all watching and you're doing a great job. And it was Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she said to never forget it, that Wayne Gretzky would actually come over and talk to her about <laughs> curling. And as it's turned out, he's a, he's a big curling fan. He is. We ran into him a couple of times in Vancouver as well. He was there watching. Mm -hmm. Interesting end. Marie-France LaRouche didn't come around again. She went to the wing. And then Saskatchewan a couple times light on their come around attempts or freeze attempts. Saskatchewan has to be extremely careful here. And half. Yeah. Just throw a board. It's fine if this just spins here. That's fine. Board weight. Jolene, uh, similar to Jennifer Jones, is not afraid to leave some opponent rocks in play, but without the option of a hammer here, they've got to be a wee bit careful. I'm going to try to tap at least yeah, yeah, one of these behind the tee line. And this is a scrub now just to try and hold the line. Scrubbing against the grain, trying to hold that curl as it comes up on these guards and it will crash all over. Okay, Callan. Okay. That was a tricky call. Just straight tight out of her hand. Mm -hmm. I don't think she overthrew it either. Great speed. Yeah. Just uh, tight. Not a bad spot where that yellow is on the left, a usable stone. Mm -hmm. They ever have to come in off of it. Fabulous opportunity here. Way. Try to get yeah. this hidden to maybe top 12, top 8. Fine, that's fine. No, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Yes, 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 Looks like uh, Saskatchewan's third, so if they could play a run back here and actually can make that. get rid of one of those at the top of the forefoot, it would make life a little easier. Red, 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 red. <laughs> <laughs> can you see all, you have all of this? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you better kill this one. Easiest one to just wow, get the shot right. Wow, better, Ash. Yeah. Heel. Because then you don't have to be quite as close to the guard to get that back right-hand red one, the one on the center line. You have to squeak the guard to make the other raise. It's dangerous. Ashley Howard as we play Whoa. here Down. in the fourth. Go back with Last yes. Rock. Down. Third yes. Stones. Hard. Hard. Hard, hard. Angle it back yeah, and okay. drives it by. Okay. Well, another update for you, and we'll go over to Sheet D, Newfoundland, Labrador, New Brunswick. 
Kathy, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> we worked on your commas. You know, in this situation, uh, New Brunswick had opportunities on Rebecca Atkinson's to run one of their Yellowstones back and get shot. They elected to not. And Stacey was trying to raise her own, got it going out of her hand, and really has not given herself a really good shot. So it would be just one red. Yeah, steal of, uh, or one for okay. Newfoundland Labrador, pardon me. So it's 2 1 as they go to the fourth. You just couldn't wait for that, could you? Vic? No, I, when, I, when they were piling up over there, I'm going, no, this oh, is, I can use my life. It's been so long since I've said that. Really. <laughs> Kathy was thinking the same thing, too. Oh, yeah, no. It's coming. <laughs> what a mess. Creature of habits. <laughs> <laughs> Peel. Big shot here for Saskatchewan. You're going to get this okay. top one pretty thin. So if you hit the second one directly behind the top rock, it's not going to hit the third one. You have to get it really thin, roughly where the broom is. Could get all three to go. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Yes. Hard. Williamson. Whoa. Whoa. Finally Whoa. off. By one, come up, get them all. She'll touch them all Great and time. get rid of two. Oh, very nice. Really good throw. Better than it was. Great shot, Ash. Got a girl. Probably as good as I could do. Yeah, right? I think so. Thinner still. They, they didn't quite realize they had to hit it even thinner. This curls hits the second one thick, which doesn't allow it to get the third one flush enough. And, and that stone that you drew attention to that Yellowstone sitting top 12 belonging to Saskatchewan is still there and still could be used for an in-off. No question. Still usable. Yes. My ball. Yes, I need yes, I need so it's curling in a hurry. Yes, yes I need. Yes, I need. Brenda Nichols. Yes, I need. Okay, 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 whoa, whoa. Don't want to bounce wide whoa. open here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, no, no, see. And okay. now they might have it two uh, ways. Okay. Alberta has picked up a steal of one, uh, so no, Chelsea no, 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 carry up three nothing on Carla Thompson of the Kamloops. This is kind of the ace that. Uh, and Nova Scotia, okay. Jill Brothers right. steals one in the third. Plus now leads Krista McCarvel right okay. from Thunder Bay three nothing. Jelaine no. just playing the straight tap. Yeah, smart move. It would be tempting to throw some weight at it, but if you ever run that by, miss it, that yellow on the right's gone, and it's a hit for three. Just if you shrink the scoring area here, it would be uh, half the battle. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be unhappy walking away with a force this end. It's almost the Ford hot shot shot here. Just tap it back, try to keep it on the, uh, the thrown rock on the high side. You don't want to overcurl here. Even if your second shot in a four foot, that really okay. makes it tough to score that deuce. for her Russ yeah and it took off yeah so you even wonder if it's that rock assuming she's still following in order she flashed a wide open hit way narrow in the first end and narrow with that one those are the toughest shots so early in a game kind of the tap because you don't know how much ice to take what it will do with the extra weight you kind of know straight draw or hit yep tap can be really tough early so true a little fortunate there with uh, the, the uh, when they wrecked, they rolled one of the yeah, yellows yeah, over and yeah. guarded that red yeah, yellow one. Or it would have been a hit for three. Why? 
Oh, okay. Center Yellowstone is very usable for Saskatchewan. That's the issue. Okay. But if you hit it, you'll kind of open it up too. Yeah, it's, it's, you're kind of like six of one, half of another. It's helping and hurting. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. I think she may be just trying to come in, get second shot through the hole. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 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 Hard, 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 Annie. Hard. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the little rub will take some steam out of it, and it'll sit. Back eight. And they are sitting too. It was a little scary. They got on it to make it curl mm -hmm. and get by the guard, but nobody talked about the weight. That's right. <laughs> first things first, I guess. <laughs> Turning directionally to make it curl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It might have gone through if it hadn't turned off the shot rock. Why? <laughs> well, I think to make the roll. Like I, I think internet yeah. just probably nosing it. I think. Really dangerous situation for Saskatchewan. You know, they, you, you thinking positively, you hit that, you roll somewhere, you're in good shape. Open, but if you, you ever hit that rock right there, and it kind of goes this way, like if you yeah. it, yeah. you're yeah, in for a long afternoon. Both, I mean. Right? Yeah, that's not an easy port. Nope. Like just a hair, just a hair high. And you're thinking run it. Dropping in on the game between British Columbia and Alberta, you see that red strong. stone at the tee line on the right that side. That belongs to BC. Final stone on the way, Carla Thompson. Does she have to make the triple here to get the deuce? She's got to make the double for sure to okay. get the two. She made a lovely shot on her first one. Hit and roll. Chelsea jammed to leave that red one in play. From the Kamloops Curling Club, oh, and that'll be enough. So Carla Thompson, after falling behind, 3 nothing will pick up the deuce shot, it's 3-2 three, three. Chelsea Carey leading I'm going to roll the dice here and try to get through that port it's there okay. a lot to gain if you do get through uh, Cheryl I think you're going to roll Just getting through the port naturally you might roll behind that red one a foot short of the rings did they talk a little bit about the tap again yes they did their own yeah, that would make sense too. Even as you say, tap it into the forefoot underneath cover. You only give up two at the most, and you're you don't want to give up three in this situation. But there is room here. Lean made a pile of these in the provincials. Whoa, whoa. Final stone whoa, whoa. for Kellen, Saskatchewan. Jolene Campbell. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, whoa, whoa. coming through, coming through, coming through. No, and touches it, jams it, Hard spills go, it. Go, 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 go. And pushes it to the back of the 12. Good now, job. question is, can you get more than one? My own advice. I think that's so stupid. Talking about the sweeping, they were on it to get it to curl, and they overcooked it. Well, she was. May have been fortunate Rust to even touch that shot rock on the way by. Absolutely, the, and that's where the directional sweeping is catching all the teams. Is it? They had to brush it to try to get a little bit of curl of it. She was so successful with it, it overcurled because it was such a tight port, and it yeah, went from uh, got it on the one on the side. missing it wide to missing it narrow. Yeah, and uh, okay. big chance here. Do you take on this angle raise? Uh, it's risk versus reward. You could get four here. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez? C'est comme tu veux. 
que ici, c'est ça, si je fais ça, d'après moi, je... Is that the shot or is the double the shot? I think if you play the a double, you're actually going to go do this type of thing and uh, maybe lose one that way. I think the angle would be easier shot. Or are you happy with two, Cheryl? I, I like that chance at four. Yes. I like it. It's thin, but it's not a long run. Well, there are the good friends. As he told you the story, they wanted to play together again. And so it's Annie LeMay and Marie-France LaRouche trying to sort it out. Let's go. She's wondering if she has enough for the pick, maybe. This one here. Yeah, straight pick across. Yeah. We're right behind it. You're absolutely right. There's a small half here. Kill it out through there, which is a natural angle, and you score your three. Less risk, too. You ever raise your red one onto that back red? It's a steal of one. So th this is the safer call. I like it. Yeah, she can see enough of it. Okay. Just be a little bit of a guess of what it does out this far. We haven't been out this wide. To think a little bit of pebble, curl a bit. From that angle, half a stone, maybe just a little less. Final rock. Trying to hold it. Annie LeMay got to come by that guard. Annie LeMay get by that guard. Hangle it back and through. And it'll be a three spot for Quebec here in the fourth. proud to be a part of this family and some of the great things that they've accomplished but uh, for me the dream was never the briar. The Scotties has always been my dream and uh, just honored to be the first female to uh, compete in the Scotties. So I'll start with Carly Howard. Uh, she's competed at a CIS Canadian University National Championship. Cousin Scott Howard has been to coming up on his third briar, one as a fifth with Glenn. Stephen Howard, my brother, he's competed in four briars I believe. My dad, Russ, 14 briars, and Uncle Glenn, 16, coming up. Definitely very proud to be a part of this family, and uh, it's really important that they're, they're here for me, and I appreciate it. And watching from up high, there you see Mom Wendy and brother Steve. And then in Penetanguishene, Ontario, watching on TV at uh, Glenn's house, our Glenn, his wife Judy, Scott, Callie, and then of course in the middle there is um, Good luck, guys. Grandmother Barb. Go Saskatchewan, go! All watching. And yeah, there is the record. So uh, Glenn heading back to this year's Tim Hortons Briar, skipping Ontario. Going to add to his total. Going to be well over 200 by the time he's finished. And then on through Ashley now. Three games into her Scotty's career. The Howard family. They may even argue the first family of uh, curling in Canada. <laughs> well, have been some wonderful families, of course. Sam Richardson recently passing away, and there's the uh, arguably the uh, another first family of the game. Right. So Quebec gets the three in the uh, fourth. We go to five now. Saskatchewan will have last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stones. And find themselves down now by three. Annie LeMay. No. Okay, yep. Clean, clean, clean. Good. Bunny. Jolene nearly bailed the team out with that... Uh... Shot through the narrow porch, he nearly threaded it through. But they missed some draws early to set that mess up and uh, got some work to do here. Got the corner guard up. Credit to Marie France and that great pick in the last end. That wasn't an easy shot. She couldn't see a ton of it and you're out in a new spot. That was the danger. I thought it might just grind in the pebble, but she threw it very briskly, a lot of speed and that kept it out there. That's a veteran call. 
Perfect game plan by Pretty Quebec. Good. Force take two, force take three. Bye, girl. Catch something? Dernier. No, no, no. Well, the team from the territories and that lady right there uh, in the middle, Carrie Galusha, a part of another wonderful family, the uh, Cooey Curling family. We'll see both the brothers, Kevin and Jamie, at the Briar in Ottawa, having lost for the second year in a row that uh, pre-tournament qualifying final to BC. Last year was to Northern Ontario, and uh, this is the kind of family that curling is when they stay around, when they probably feel like getting out of Dodge, but uh, staying around to uh, answer phones on Sandra Schmirler Day. So if you call, you just may have a chance to talk with Kerry Galusha. Speaks volumes about that team. You know, whenever we used to lose, you won out of town mm, so bad. No, no kidding. Yeah, fantastic to stay. Such a great cause. Not the shot to Saskatchewan had dreamt up. Uh, oh, goodness. You have that corner, they flash, and you can't hold it. Throw it through. Yeah, and, the, and you know, obviously the tolerance is light, too. Another guard wouldn't hurt. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa, whoa. This one roll, roll over. Look at that. Part of being a rookie team for Saskatchewan, you know, that inside out shot, uh, Cheryl will tell you, and we've, uh, we've been there a lot, that it just gets quicker. It does. It's right to the back one, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, you won't be Great shot, roll though. by Quebec. They're trying to roll completely out, but get called by Murray France. Light, eh? Plan B yeah. and center line guard. You can just move that a little. Try and stay here. Update for you, Nova Scotia, Northern Ontario, and the uh, final stone coming up here for Krista McCarville out of the Fort William and Thunder Bay. And you know, the last two ends, Vic, Krista really has not faced very good shots at all. She's trying to run a very long guard on an angle to the stone that is shot in the forefoot. McCarville returning to the Scotties One. for the first time since 2010 will give up the steal, and yeah, you just wonder, Kathy, if... Uh, that although i mean she played a lot she played five events on the tour she won four of them granted they were minor events in uh, northern ontario and uh, that part of the uh, north central u.s but if in fact being away that long has hurt her it's not helping that's for sure you look at uh, mccarville's record this year the 26 wins six losses you look a little deeper the first three games of the year they lost them all if you wipe those out that's 26 and three seven and zero in the provincials They've won a lot of games. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yep, yes, 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 yes. And all over the guard. Uh, they were trying to play the tap back. Way light there. Uh, I heard Ashley say she was light in that same spot earlier in the game, and they didn't make the adjustment. Not the spot to leave it. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. D'accord? Correct. Correct. Right. They uh, lost the last game on a draw that was heavy, and it's almost like the whole team's protecting. There were three come arounds, out turns last end, and the fourth end, way light for Saskatchewan. Another one there. It's almost like they had a team meeting, and don't be heavy, and they've succeeded. And that's worked. Now they got to adjust <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, An justice. update Alberta with a 3 2 lead over. Uh, British Columbia, and they can uh, add to their lead here a couple, I guess. Well, they sure can. Alberta's done a good job of keeping the stones at opposite sides of the house. BC trying doubles, trying rolls to try to group stones, and either missed the doubles or rolled out. And that final stone by Carla Thompson rolled a little bit and is shot, but it is open. Right to it. Clean. You're good. Clean. Nice. They are good for two more. Try to win three in a row. Well, time to open it up on our sheet. 
definitely can't give up a steal here. And you've got a few rocks you're going to have to move to open this up. Nice come around by Quebec to in a really usable spot. That's the difference in this game is better rock positioning here. Stone there. Shooter goes over and covers the eight foot. So a draw is taken away probably on that side. All right. All right. It's not going well for Susiatuan at the moment. Right. That they do have last rock here in five. No, oh, and Jelaine doesn't even have a good draw, especially after this stone comes to land. No path on the intern at all. We still get three with the amount of space we have. Yeah, it's true. And there's plenty to run back yeah. right now, so that's good. Three pieds, 12 pieds, un peu vite, puis le dos. Okay, it's 29. I'd have to have to run that yellow closest to the circle's back. Okay. Bring up a little shrapnel in front of the forefoot area just to have a chance with their second one. Je vais avoir une ligne un petit peu plus à l'intérieur. Okay. Yep, it's a set! Six! 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 This one, but whatever. I don't think I need much ice. Miss. Okay, just do her high. Okay. See if we can get couple a couple choices. You could just do this, get rid of that thing, it opens it up. Yes, Marie Franz will maybe throw a guard, but you might be able to come around it with your last one into this area, because there's lots of room. The run back is obviously good too, but I can't dream up a way they can get rid of all three of those with the run back. This could be dangerous. Maybe the only advantage with the run back is you might leave one of your stones, the, the rock you're hitting, somewhere usable. Jolene whoa, Campbell, her first, whoa. run it back, bang, bang, and oh my, the Ray Stone will go, still leaving Quebec sitting three, but that center line is now wide open. Yeah, that was a really nice throw. Hey, be nice, came up a hair more. On yep. the way okay. that left-hand side looks, there may be no draw on the in turn, mm -hmm. and once his guard goes up, nothing on the out turn. <laughs> Little unlucky that, as you said, the yellow one. If it hangs the on, there is a triple at the okay, moment. Well, and even if it hung on the eight foot, mm -hmm. you might be able to use it to get back in. Kick off, yeah. Use, exactly. use it for something. It looks like it's out. This bar, it's tough. 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 Si je viens complètement, vas-tu l'avoir pareil, puis... Euh... Mais elle va sortir à l'air. Elle va sortir, oui. Okay. Okay. Fait qu'on vient dedans, là? Hein? On vient dedans? Oui. Doesn't get much better than this for the team without Hammer. You could probably even huh? sneak this in okay. the top 12 foot if you Maman. wanted. Okay. Well, Pierre's going to want to talk about this one. There's even... The, you could even tap it. Tap the... Red make the draw really tough. The guard basically you're taking away the double. Mm -hmm. So that's even all. if it came to yeah, that's it. The the draw will be there. On the out turn side it'll be it not that easy. Yeah, I'll have to go to the weeds a little bit, but if there's room. Really put the pressure on with a tap. Right? 
moi, moi honnêtement, je vois un petit tape là-dessus. Là. Si tu joues au T-line, là, puis quand moi qui a fait un trip en avant, tu vois l'excès dans la game. Ouais. Mais tu es sûr de voler, sûr, sûr, sûr de voler. Tandis que là, ça fait un beau droit, c'est 5 trois. Moi, je pense okay. que c'est le killer, là. OK. Tu viens quasiment jouer le même shot. Hein? Un peu par là. Hein? Ouais. 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 Comment, au pire, tu vas y laisser un trip. Mais si tu as fait le trip, tu scores avec elle. OK. Mais si tu as fait comme il faut, d'après moi, tu vois le deux. OK. OK. okay. Tu as quasiment joué la même ligne puis tout en plus, tu sais. Tap this right, right. you might even roll a little bit to guard any draw. Comme ça? Oui. On a un peu moins qu'on avait ce qu'on a. To Cheryl's point, you kick it into here where you can't outdraw it. And if you get it right, you're here. And these two rocks would be kind of angled on an angle that you can't get at that shot rock. And there would be virtually no chance of scoring. Good call up here. And Cheryl. <laughs> Thanks. I like this. It puts pressure on him. Yeah. Let's spin one. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Forgot to uh, congratulate oh, Pierre on his induction into the Canadian Curling Hall of Fame. <coughs> a a two-time Briar Silver medalist. Back eight. Well deserved. Oh, for sure. No, 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 There's no, so no. much for the yep. sport. No, it's like, no, no, no. no. No, we're going to kick that out in the open. No, no. Oh. Okay. Okay, shoot. And you wanted to play that shot. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Why were they sweeping? <laughs> that is the only thing that could have gone wrong. It's so <laughs> true. It's so true. But isn't that a wonderful example of how you can't miss? You know, they get there. You, the smart error, and it just... Marie Franz did a wonderful job of throwing a... You know, she had to throw more than T-line, which she did, but it, because of that, it didn't curl. Anything on the other side. Anything on the other side, it's good. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's going, I, I did like that call, <laughs> but I don't now. The Hall of Famer would have never done that. <laughs> That's right. saying. Still, a hit against four. Touch something. Feather. Maybe it. get a break. Touch it, and oh boy. Tough one, Joe. And it'll spill four. away. Now you're really bad, guys. One, two, three, <laughs> and four. Nine, two going to the break on a bad break for Saskatchewan. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. Welcome back to Grand Prairie, Alberta, and Sandra Schmerler Day continues. We want to get those phones very busy. You saw the number. We are approaching $150,000 helping babies in crisis right across Canada. This foundation, in Sandra's name, has raised over $3.2 million over that time, which is simply phenomenal, helping so many facilities right across the country. And always awesome to have some special guests from Team Rachel Holman, Lisa Weagle, and Emma Miskew. And we'll start with you, Lisa. You guys had an opportunity to go to the facility in Grand Prairie yesterday. What did you see and what was it like? We took a tour of the hospital yesterday and we got to see some of the equipment and uh, meet some moms and babies as well. So uh, it was really nice to see the funds and how they're used and the direct impact on the community here. I know the one thing, Emma, you guys did talk about is how tiny these little babies are and how important those machines are to be near their parents as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we held one of the babies and it was so tiny. He was just a little guy. You could fit him in one hand. So it was really great. Um, they need that equipment there and it was really great that um, we see where the funds are going and it's real life. <laughs> this is one of these most important telethons all year long and it's why we're here raising money for babies in crisis right across Canada. If you're at home and you've helped, we thank you. If you want to help some more, We'd love to have it. The number on your screen, you can call all day long. Also, the website. We are helping babies in crisis right across Canada. It is Sandra Schmerler Day right here on TSN. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice by Ford of Canada. 
proud sponsor with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. And by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. We are in Grand Prairie. Our second visit to the uh, south edge of the Peace Region here in December, of course, for the Canada Cup. This time it's the Scotties. Numbers after five on the scoreboard, not good for Quebec. Our first Saskatchewan trailing Quebec 9-2. Not good as well when you look at the individual performances, albeit that pick stone uh, for Jolene Campbell right now at 50%. Ashley Howard at 63, Callum Hammond throwing the second stones at 68. So they reflect somewhat the struggles of Saskatchewan. The numbers after five are brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner of Curling Canada for over 20 years. As we welcome you back to Revolution Place on this uh, Sunday afternoon, draw four, day two coverage of the 35th anniversary of the uh, Scotties Tournament of Hearts. see it so often in uh, these games and we touched on it in the opening can you recover that quickly after a pretty devastating loss when it's your first Scotties yep. and it looked like they had control the Ontario game well, well, didn't go that way and uh, that short well, rebound is tough well, they uh, they really haven't answered the bell a couple a couple of decent ends but uh, they were really out curled in end number three and then obviously the pick doesn't help <laughs> That's what that was nice playing way. more does give you is kind of that competitive resilience that you can bounce back easier. Mm -hmm. You kind of get used, not used to losing, but you deal yep. with the losses and move on. And when you haven't played a ton in the year, that can be even tougher to do. Curling's a funny game that way because you've got so much time out in the ice to think. It's not a fast moving game, but it's what you do with that thinking time. Are you thinking positively or are you focusing on all the misses and your last miss in the last game? It's you've got to do some worthwhile uh, thinking in that time. Interesting uh, situation here for oh, Team Quebec. They did, their, they did a really good call by oh, no. their opening oh, rock, but behind no. the T line, which is detrimental. So they just peel it with their second one. And uh, okay. a lot of club curlers wouldn't see the logic in that, but. Why be behind the tee line when you're up so many points? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, Saskatchewan would be happy if you left it there. Solid throw. <laughs> Just to update you on other scores, everyone has reached the uh, the break, and Nova Scotia continues to lead 4-1. Northern Ontario got the single in five, and New Brunswick continues to lead 4-1. Sylvie Robichaux from Moncton scored two in the fifth, so she has the lead over Stacy Curtis from St. John's. This is always my the debate I have with myself, and I debate myself quite often. Actually, why are you doing that? I don't know. Um, but you you have that wide corner. You're going to throw up another one. Why not go behind the corner now? Try to. I know they're probably going to to uh, to rip. Then you go to the other side and you try to get a deuce that way. I mean, I'm thinking yeah. of louder. Well, you, and you're not wrong because that is exactly what Campbell's going to try here eventually. But I think that's the key word is eventually. Okay. Just prolong it a little bit. The sooner you go around it, the sooner they peel a guard. Now you're playing in the rings. That allows the other team, in this case Quebec, a couple chances, a couple more chances at doubles. Gives more chances for you to hit and roll it and lose your two. So yeah, the, really, I ideally, you make this with Jolene's first one. They tick the guard to draw the ocean for two. The other thing too, and you mentioned about being able to battle back, Cheryl, is that 
you'd like to get them all back at once. You're not going to get your six more. or seven in this case, but you'd be happy with two. Yeah, you would, and I think that's kind of what happened Sliding in the good. fifth end is they gave up that three in, in the fourth, and then they kind of went really hard in five hey, to the detriment and ended up giving up a steal of four. So you just have to really be mentally strong and realize I just need to get a two, force, get a two, force, not try to get it all back at once. Plus there's eight more games, isn't there? So, you know, just just make some shots. Just just feel good about yourself. Even, even come out of here with an L. You, uh, no, you no, got to get ready for that next one. Just throw. That's the shot that the, uh, the women's teams have improved on you know so what? much is that Quicker feel. Yeah, Here? I always look back to Jill uh, Officer as one of the pioneers with the big weight and the lots of rotation, but you see everybody doing it now. Well, and they're kind of doing it by two ways. It's yeah. arm extension right. is one and fitness. A lot more work mm -hmm. in the gym, a lot more. You see uh, all the women's teams in the gym getting fit so that they get the leg drive to get out of the hack and that arm extension added, and That's a lot. it's a weapon. How are they going now? Yes, they are. Wow, well, okay, so they're going on uh, Ashley's uh, first. Mine's good. You're dying, come on. Yep. Hard, 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 hard. The line's there, and he's got to get it in the paint. There you go. Okay, just in. Just in. Just in. Good. Real good spot. That's totally underneath cover. No choice with a big lead just to rip the guard. Those are the type of shots that uh, builds confidence for Saskatchewan. You watched the previous end with the steal of four. Yep. Saskatchewan had a chance to play a come run through through. And that's what set up the whole uh, situation. So it's just little things like that. I always say in clinics, it's it's not the little things, it's the big things. There aren't any little things. No, there aren't. It's all big things here. You know, probably the harder of the two shots for Ashley, the guard, because it's all about the line here. You under throw this, it'll really curl past where you want it. Curl. Easy if you can. Really got a curl, Callan. Where to your broom? Okay. Starting to go. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, hard, hard. Good. Roll, roll, roll. roll. Good shot. Good, good, good. good. Well, when we began the uh, afternoon, we were talking about Marie Franz LaRouche. All that experience now a seventh Scotties, but always questioning a little yep. bit which Marie Franz would show up, and it's a very sharp Marie Franz. Certainly, as they played wonderful, um, some wonderful shots against Ontario. But this, I love the position of this because it chokes off that double. It kind of guards the shot rock. There's nothing in the intern side. Caused an error later in the end. And of course, the uh, flash led to the steal of four. The key shot is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing. Feels like cashmere. Kathy? You know, in the beginning of the show, Vic, you talked about consistency and again, just about, you know, which Maddie Fowles team would show up. She said to me before the game that she felt in that game against Ontario, she made all the big shots, but it was the little things. It was the little shots, the draws for two, the simple ones that they missed. And one of the things that reminded her of being back at this show is that you can't lose your focus on the little ones and they're doing that better today. Well, that stands to reason, Cheryl. I mean, that Yes, you'd like to be, you'd like to play every shot to be a hero shot, but it takes That's smaller it. shots to, <laughs> to get to that hero stage, right? Well, it doesn't, and Kathy's right. You actually have to focus harder on the easy shots, or we used to talk about it, where you really had to focus on the open draw for two compared, because you naturally focus on a tough shot, you will. Just like this one. Mm -hmm. And there's, yeah, exactly. There's so much to draw your attention out of focus at these events so much more than at a curling club or at, a, at an event and then the pressure on top of it. Fine, fine. That's why so many teams these days are working with sports psychologists because really 
they're all talented at this level. They can all make the shots, but it then becomes more of a mental game and the mental strength. Can you rebound after a miss? What do you do with your time between games? There's so much more to it. Really diving. Yep. So splitting the rings. This one's pretty good there. Yeah. It always lights good inside out. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, I didn't. I didn't think I uh, threw it hard. No. And you it lost its handle and just kind of kept going. Yeah, it kind of just. I don't. I don't love that rock. Okay. Like I've gotten. It, it's gone crazy. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think right. back. Wide like, open hit missed by a ton. Narrow. And right, we didn't think. Yeah. Missed in the yeah. fourth end, way narrow. That one lost a tandle. There's a good chance there's a little sharp spot on that or a pit or a, it's, you know, still a little rougher than the other stones. That's, that's how the difference between winning and losing is picking those things up. Yep, yep, yep! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Marie Franz LaRouche, whoa, final whoa. stone. Judy, 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 Judy. And she'll just hit it there. It is the second shot. I won't be surprised that many of these teams will be watching Team Alberta. They played with these stones mm -hmm. before, scouting them to see what rocks they're throwing, in what order. Can I give you the same speed, or is that too much here? Hey, if you weren't with us yesterday, these uh, stones are uh, Not, no more. Alberta Curling Association more. stones. They were used at both uh, their provincials. So, do you think so the only person with a book on them <laughs> would be uh, Alberta. I think so, too. <laughs> And we're under the impression that they've been sold to a curling club after this event, so they will no longer be used. At the Briar, the uh, the Canadian Curling Association stones will be in play. And we've uh, seen uh, lots of games with those stones. Very, very lively, very active uh, hitting bands. The fear, though, was that if they brought those stones out here to Grand Prairie, really could they in fact get yep. them back to Ottawa in time? Come on, Come on. So that's why these Alberta stones right, are being used. Hard. Hard. You gotta go. Yeah, it's a tight turnaround. Be a tough briar oh, with no dear. rocks. And that's a miss. Flat out miss. As Jolene Campbell had the draw for two, we'll have to settle for just one. Quebec continues to lead. Welcome back to Grand Prairie, Alberta. Sandra Schmerler Day continues on TSN. $163,000, that is amazing. Look how bored Emma Miskew is right now. She's researching directional sweeping on her iPhone. The least we can do is get her busy here. It's for a great cause. Sandra Schmerler, what an amazing athlete she was. We lost her way too soon back in 2000, but the legacy is incredible. Over $3.2 million raised for Babies in Crisis right across Canada, including right here in Grand Prairie. Your money goes right across the country. So please, on Sandra Schmerler Day, call the number, go to the website. It's a proud day right here on TSN. Let's update the game, Newfoundland Labrador, New Brunswick, both these teams, uh, Kathy looking to win their first and quickly out of the blocks, Stacey Curtis from St. John's Curling Club. Well, and she has a chance for two, facing two in her final stone, Sylvia Robichaux hit the stone that was open, but it is not shot, and so that does allow this draw to the forefoot for the pair. like that. There it is, two for Newfoundland Labrador, and it's still New Brunswick. Sylvie Robichaux from Curl Moncton, leading by one. As we welcome you back, we started with that game, but with now 9-3, Quebec leading, we're going to next door to Sheet A, the game between British Columbia and Alberta. A blank in six, and it is British Columbia and the team of Carla Thompson from the Kamloops Curling Club that does have the last rock. They are playing the Red Stones. Chelsea Carey, the Alberta champions from the Glencoe Club in Calgary, playing the yellow and trying to roll it underneath some cover. We'll leave it just edge of the four T line. Sitting two at the moment. Down by three, five, two, Alberta. Chelsea Carey trying to win three straight. Thompson that came through that pre-qualifying tournament, that win over the territories in Kerry Galusha. They won yesterday. 
That was yesterday afternoon to qualify and become the 12th team in the field. This is Alberta's second game, and that's BC's sixth game. That's unbelievable. <laughs> They're in mid-event form. I think it's a big advantage for Alberta's BC. Alberta's third game, right? Yes. Right. A big advantage for BC to have that many games on the surface and with these rocks, but at the end of the week it might not be. That's a lot of curling. And BC is one of the teams that you don't see on tour a lot, and so unpredictable. You're not sure how what style of game they have. And she herself can be unpredictable in the style she plays. He scored a boatload of points in the, uh, yeah, the one-one game in uh, yeah. BC against Kelly Scott and in the final. That's Carla played second for Kelly Scott the year before. Yeah, went out on her own this year to skip. Inside out again, we uh, see it so often. We just watched the last two shots by Jolene Campbell in our future game. The inside out one barely hung on the back. The one down the middle, they lost it on the sweeping totally. It's a difference in speed. You have to catch on to that. We're only one. I got three and a half for that. Okay, let's flip the guard. Yes. It's not pretty close. Oh, yeah, oh, God. No, no. <laughs> we want to get over there. I think that's good. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, like 14 14? The former Manitoba champion yeah. won a bronze medal in Montreal in uh, 2014. Then last year moved to Alberta. Yeah, I think so. Somewhere in there. And now takes this Alberta team, the former team of Heather Nedowin, to an Alberta championship. Like 14 2, 14 5? Yeah. Okay. I think I still like 14 5. It's interesting. Like One of the comments she made prior to the event starting was okay. the okay. experience of this yep. team, and it is very experienced. When you think about it, Amy yeah. Nixon okay. coming you through the yourself. Olympics, Shannon Clybrink, bronze medal there, uh, having been numerous times to the Scotties, Jocelyn Peterman okay. uh, nice. with her uh, Canadian nice. Junior Championship experience, nice. and Lainey nice. Peters, my goodness. All the uh, Scotties that she went to as an alternate with Colleen Jones. All that experience compared to a team such as we just watched, Saskatchewan. All of them there for a first time. The experience does mean something, Cheryl. It does. And, you know, Lainey, you pointed out, Lainey, she's just one of those players that always seems to be on the successful teams. And I think it's what she does as a player out in the ice for I know she's been great for Chelsea out here gives Chelsea a lot of confidence and I think that's a key part as a player and maybe not always the shot making that has to be there but it's also what you bring out of your other players absolutely think what think what Laney's learned over the years playing with the great Colleen Jones and Heather Nedowin you know like it's it's pretty spectacular good spectacular experience yeah 97 that was and then she made their mind up to be a career front end player and uh, I think that's important too you know you need four people that uh, follow their part of the union and get good at it. Well, and gone are the days that you hide a, you know, a poor player at lead or front end. They have to be as mm -hmm. strong as the back end and, and bring a lot to the game as well for team chemistry, support. Yeah, the fat kid can't play goal anymore. You know? <laughs> 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 right. Well put. <laughs> Although, yeah. I was. That's right. Hey. I was the goalie. Yeah. 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 That's the truth. <laughs> Sit. And around she goes. Carla <laughs> Thompson. Oh, where the crap? And uh, second appearance at a Scotties for her, 2008. Allison McKinnis went four and seven. Nova Scotia, Northern Ontario, Kathy. I was so afraid when you were talking about the fat kid, that was your segue to me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm, this is one of those tempting it shots. It is Northern Ontario lying oh. shot at the back of the house. It is buried, Whoa. but Jill is trying to throw the kind of weight Whoa. that will get the finish, tap Whoa. it back potentially for three. Yep, hard now, Bliss. Hard Bliss. Hard Bliss. Hard bliss. <laughs> Jill Brothers and the team from the Mayflower Curling Club. and One? One it is. One red. One One all this, that's all it is. But it's nice to see her back on the ice. Uh, she missed the opening game yesterday, but uh, her return 
this morning sparked a, a 9 3 win over Manitoba. Trying to uh, win back to back games leading Northern Ontario. 106. Kid, where are you? Where? Okay. Five. Six. Mine's good. Real. Whoa. Seven. D line only. Lady. Lady. We're there. Seven. Eight. Right to it. We're right to 12. it. Twelve. No go. Go to it. We're to it. To it. Bumping. What was fun? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Spectacular speed control. Very nice, Chelsea. That's you. I mean, Chelsea, great player. It's the only thing when we'd ever play her. The one thing you might see from her now and then is she'd try to make the draws on her own and wouldn't use her sweepers. Um, no, not all the time, but if you were going to get, and you're always looking for that one little area in the opposition that you could maybe get a break on, and that might have been it. But I remember at the 2014, Scotty, she was draw weight. She was deadly. She was making it yes, all. fantastic. And it's so huge for even how you call the game as a skip. If you don't know your draw weight or don't feel confident in it, you call a completely different game. Still running. Final stone. Pretty straight still. Running. Okay, start to line, right now. Key line, guys. Yep, curly now. Yep, gotta go, gotta go. Hard, hard, hard. Needs to get a little oh, bit of the crap. four. So it's a carry. Shot. Well done. Good. Trista Van Dale, Tracy Lavery. To pick up the single. Still down by two. I'd probably be lying a little bit if I didn't say that we didn't come here to win. We we definitely want to win. We always try to aim for playoffs because once you get there you never know what might happen and that's what we're aiming for. Our goal is to uh, make playoffs. That was our goal from the start and so uh, we're going to shoot for that and then we'll make another one after we reach playoffs. And this evening we'll be back to our multi-sheet coverage first time ever at a Scotties. You'll be able to see Northern Ontario and Team Canada on TSN 3 and 4, that will be with Kathy and Brian. Our featured game will be Ontario against Manitoba. You'll see that on TSN 1 and 5. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, multi-sheet coverage. First time ever. Here's the 35th anniversary of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Welcome back. Sunday afternoon, draw four. British Columbia and Alberta is now our feature. BC scored one and seven. And here in the eighth, it'll be Alberta that has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stones and leading 5-3. Like so far what I've seen with this Alberta team, they, they haven't worked with a coach this year. They worked a little bit with Paul Webster at the Glencoe more on their technical. And then coming in there, they ended up uh, asking Charlie Thomas to coach and Susan O'Connor as their fifth. So I, I think their job is probably to watch as the pressure mounts for any changes and tendencies because it's a first year team. And, you know, they've played a lot of games. But once the pressure starts, that's when you start to see routines change. And so true. That'll be their job. Five. Yep. Yep. Go, Josh. Five. Hard, Josh. Five. Hard, 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 hard. Just hurt everybody. Hard, hard, hard. Go, 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 Six. go, 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 everybody. Perfect. Great sweep. Very nice sweep. Fifteen. Want to try to net it? From overhead, Newfoundland, Labrador, New Brunswick. And it appears that it is uh, Newfoundland, Labrador sitting. One, two, maybe even three. Final stone on the way for New Brunswick. Sylvie Robichaud. I do think it is to Vic, and you never want to Line's think about nice the backing because I think if she does come down to the backing, that stone like that is in here. the top of the eight foot will be shot. Stay oh, with it. Looking for the four foot. This T line, girls. Robichaud out of Curl Moncton in Moncton, New Brunswick. Right. Third Scotty's appearance. Last year went four and seven in Moose Jaw. Both these teams looking for their first wins. to pick up the single and extend their lead 5-3. Hard, 
talked about running back that red one. But it's so tough. You want to hang around and score the way it is. Three quarters. That was a smarter yeah, move just to play the draw, lob it in there, get something in the paint. Shooter rolls over now. It's a high corner guard covering the edge of the eight. Inside on that one right from the get go. I had a chance to double him off. Oh, I don't At least know for that. Alberta's sake, roll far enough out of, yeah. out of play, really. Cut that back. Back 12? Yeah. 12, right? Yeah. Back 12. Back 12, I think she said. Oh, okay, yeah. Awesome. Well, the Stuff on this ice. You gotta be careful when you're cleaning those rocks off that you you dust the rock off, but you've got to make sure you that debris is out of the slide path area. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, you just Back push eight. it from one to That's the right. other. Yeah, right? It's, it's yeah. like pushing Back the dirt under the table. That's right. Four. You've been to my house. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bumps it to the back eight. It's the right weight, just couldn't hold the angle on it. That's the nice part about throwing like? that appropriate weight. It, it, it wasn't a make well, over doing? curl, but now there's two reds in there. Yeah, it leaves her that. Yeah, bending Alberta is sitting too. We got hammer here, right? Is it the end of the world if they made that show? <sighs> what else are you thinking? Guard. Sorry, guard. Yeah. Shall we call a timeout? Yeah. Get him on it. I'm out. <laughs> Just if you peel, she gets at three. Yeah. Like it, yeah. We're sitting so good here right now I know, that I, I don't, don't love the peel. I don't love the peel. You could rip this out and give her another try at that. I don't love that either. But I don't love not penalizing we don't need her that, for yeah, like this is that rock's not hurting us. We're up front, Charles. I think longer. Because she's gonna run it. So if you go here, then it makes it shorter for her. Right? Charlie Thomas here. comes out, a uh, two-time right Canadian, two-time World Thomas. Junior Champion, just lost the Alberta final to Kevin Cooey. Yeah, I think it's a tough shot, and I think we have a good chance of making one if she makes it. She's going to open up for you, so you Okay. See that, like, Yep. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'll throw it better, Charles. Give me the same mic. Okay. <laughs> Gripper mark right in front of the rock. <laughs> I do. I think this is our best chance of making sure we score one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that thought process. You're up a couple points mm -hmm. here. You oh, throw yeah. a guard. That's what BC wants. Chelsea's point was, if you peel this guard, BC yep, can yep. play that short raise guard. double to make it perfectly. They sit three, but yes. so what? The front's opened up, and now all you're worrying about is getting a single here. Okay. Tight again in the intern. That's two in a row. That's not like Jocelyn. <laughs> Leaves the shooter there. <laughs> Sitting the deuce, Alberta. Okay. Nova Scotia, Northern Ontario, and Nova Scotia in control, leading 5-1, sitting. It appears this could be a... Well, <laughs> where are you going to go with Well, this? I don't know. I think, I, is this a chance for the double of her two here? They don't know. Uh, okay, they took a really, really, really good yeah. look. And so for sure, she's going to hit this stone. And then look. Try to make sure of her single. Right. Hard, 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 Christian hard, 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 hard. now that will roll in. There's no doubt about that. Question is that yellow stone just at the T line. Two yellow. Oh, pretty easy decision for them. Two it is. Good deuce, guys. 
Good deal. Carvel from the Fort William yeah, Curling Club in Thunder yeah. Bay. <laughs> We're on fire. Uh, yeah, but keep it coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> now I like hitting that one. <laughs> and now you like this? <laughs> I don't really like that now. I don't mind it either. Our regard. Like, top 12 is pretty good. Tight. Yeah, she's just going to run it in. Nope. It's the same scenario. Let's just peel. Take the back Or just one. kill that and make Let's her make something. Back. It's just so tempting because mm -hmm. they're lined up so mm -hmm. good. I didn't mind that. That the freeze is really tough for oh, BC. For sure. It's kind of one of those when you got to switch gears. Yep. yep, we were peeling, but this looks really good. Yeah, I like the call a lot. Look at the degree degree Peel. of difficulty here. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty straight. Let's go. It's just as easy a chance as the. Uh, Yellow one coming back, taking the red out clean and three yellow in play, <laughs> as it is to making the yellow, red, yellow, yellow. <laughs> so right. They're still sitting to Alberta, but is that center line stone? And sitting out front now belongs to BC. So it looks a little bit better. This switched it. <laughs> well, and this was kind of Charlie's point that they would probably open it up for you because they're chasing. So. Lean only. Lean it. You're in it. You're fine. Just lean low. Good. Amy Nixon peels away that center guard. Nice. Good throw. Can we talk about experience and all that of Amy Nixon? Is it uh, evident here? in uh, Kristen Rexiedler. Uh, the fact that she's only at 55% compared to Nixon's 89. Player numbers are brought to you by Travelers. It's better under the umbrella. And then of course, every uh, shot you build upon to make it easier for your skipper. And uh, maybe that's the reason why the BC team has struggled a little bit with uh, with Kristen's low numbers, making the, the shots just that much more difficult for Carla Thompson. Absolutely, it's kind of a chain reaction. Stuffed it. it doesn't hurt to call as a third. You, you have to brush it Sorry, accordingly to make sure you make contact on the back one, and sometimes you get do too good a job. Easy? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Great opportunity here for Alberta. Mm. Low risk. Love to roll your way a little, Joss. Yeah, sounds good. Just easy here. Okay. Should come up a little bit. <laughs> so rolling Jocelyn's way would be a little bit to the uh, outside. If you can get that roll. Chelsea Carey, her first, oh, does have last rock here in eight. And look at that, just that little bit towards Jocelyn Peterman. A lot of precision so far to this Alberta team in three games. Shall we? <laughs> Pardon? Very nice. Good. Yeah. Great way to 10 one. Good. Loved it. I like that. Okay. Okay. That's all of it, eh? Nine and a half. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Do you like this at 
under nine, so nine and a half. Okay. And the game we uh, started with is now a final as Quebec will win it, make the final 10 4 over Saskatchewan. Quebec goes to 2 0. Oh. Saskatchewan falls to 1 and 2. Uh, Difficult really day down. for Saskatchewan. Whoa, all over the guard there. Oh. You heard her say it was grabbing in her hand. You see that a lot? It was just grabbing in my hand when I was rolling. Oh, that's tough. I tried to spin it, but it didn't work. Sometimes you can shake it loose, give it a shove, but it's hard to be accurate. And... <sighs> Not very timely. But I think 100, 105 is fine. Sounds good. You got it, Charles. Okay. Alberta uses the um, 105, meaning uh, 4.05, because all our shots are close to four seconds. But if you say 96, is it 496 or 396? So they use the whole number uh, that converts yeah, to lines. 405. Yeah, it's the line. back line Line's to great. hog line split right. time. Right. Great on its own. Yeah. Open draw. Okay. Do you need this? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Hard then, JP. Hard. Hard. Oh, oh, oh. Hard, JP. Hard. Hard. Everybody, everybody, you got it. You got it. Good. And okay. that will just take it oh. out. Take the steam out of it. They'll score three here at eight. Okay, Alberta looking sharp That's early on this oh, second day. Really the Scotties. <laughs> Looking at this game, it really was back and forth after that blank in the first. Alberta picked up a good steal in the third. They exchanged deuces, but when you think about what just happened on that last throw by Carla Thompson, said she felt something under it, couldn't dislodge it. So it results in a 3-8-3 lead for Alberta as they try to win three in a row. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Cap. On this Sandra Schmirler Day. We hope that you will uh, call or make a donation at sandraschmirler.org, all in support of neonatal care centers across Canada. Lisa Weagle needs to, uh, well, yeah, we appreciate the hello, but we'd like to be busy. So give Lisa a call and uh, make a donation. Thank you, as always. This is the 15th year of the uh, Sandra Schmirler Telethon. And accustomed the uh, first Sunday of the opening weekend. So to the uh, ninth we go at BC. Trying to put something together here down 8 3. And Susan O'Connor has come into the uh, game for, for Alberta. She'll take the place of Laney Peters, throw the lead stones, and of course, uh, you know. Miss O'Connor very well. I do. Played together for 13 years. Is that right? Yeah, we played together a long time. She's uh, she'd love to be playing again, but she had a, a little guy, and that keeps her busy with work and hard to commit. And we spent so much time in the years we curled together, committing to the game and all the work that went with it. And then of course the Olympics in Vancouver. Good to see her out here. Mine's good, curling now. Great addition to the team. I think it's a, it's a pretty high energy team, pretty uh, emotional team. And uh, you know, obviously when it's going great, it's going great. But uh, you know, like she would be, I'm sure she'd be even better than I would, but pretty steady in, in the locker room. She has nothing gets her rattled too much. And I think that's, she's great bench strength to bring for this team. And I'm sorry to interrupt you, but how good is that? She comes in and her first two stones are at the bumper. She just threw them through. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Come on in, Susan. We need you. <laughs> well, it would be interesting to ask a lot of these teams, the fifth and the coach, they all have different roles, I think, on the teams and why you bring them. There's sports psychologists that are brought, some of the fifths are brought to, you know, just maybe 
deal with players or situations or they're a management for time or they're there to go get groceries. Like there's <laughs> yes, all yeah. different roles for so many fifths. For uh, BC, of course, you saw Sasha you know, Carter there, I'm Canadian the world champion with go. Kelly Scott. Gary Vandenberg is their coach now making his home in BC after what, a couple of Canadian championships and a world with uh, Jeff Stoughton. I'm good. My role is just to go out, warm up the car and make <laughs> Sure, Russ's seat is warm for the <laughs> drives okay. back to the. He missed it on Monday. Like he did see. He did. He, yeah, it was. Oh, it was lukewarm, but he could have got there <laughs> yeah, a little earlier. Usually okay. get him to run out in the ninth. And... To come back. Yeah. 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 Where's Vic? That's right. <laughs> He's out starting the car. Clean. Nice wait. Yeah. Clean. Yep. Yep. Clean. 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 Nice throw, Joss. Newfoundland Labrador, New Brunswick still trying to win their first, and it is New Brunswick sitting the one covered center line, top edge of the four foot final rock on the way for Stacy Curtis out of St. John's. Well, New Brunswick skip. Okay, Sylvie Robichaud made a great guard on her final stone, nice and tight, perfectly on top of her shot stone, leaving only the draw for Stacy, and that's what she's playing. The wide outside needs full four. Hard line, hard line, hard, 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 hard. Well, even despite the little rub, rolls in and is able to grab enough of the forefoot for the single. Nice draw there to keep that game going. Easy peel. Clean. Yep. 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 Hard. Hard to. Hard to. Right to it. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Yeah, you got it. Talking about how quick it is going to the wings. Mm. I think it's all there. Top yeah. four T. Starting to curl. Oh. Just starting to curl. Easy. Where are we? Still there. Yep. Yep. Line, I think. Lots of line. Lots Lock of line. Eight. Yeah. It's all there. there. All there. No T. Coming down a bit. Go Trace. Yep. Yep. Go Trace. Hard Trace. Hard over. Hard, 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 hard. Not a girl. Not a girl. Good spot. Okay. You're obviously at the team with the big leads uh, mercy here, but you have to stay focused. And it's a really good position rock. It's Clean. a tough run back oh. and not roll away Clean with it. this yellow Clean rock. It. Clean it. Amy Nixon. Good yep. Throw. Yep. Good yep. throw next. Right up. Right right out. Out. Good. Kidding. Nova Kidding. Scotia, Northern Ontario. Nice and it is Nova Scotia and uh, Jill Brothers that has the uh, last. I, I don't know if they can they make this angle double to bring two into play or is this a hit and roll just to get one? She, well, no, I do think that it is already a Nova Scotia yeah. line okay. one. And I think she's playing a hit and roll for two. Alrighty. It really has been a struggle for Krista McCarville. Made a lovely draw earlier and then just could not replicate that. And it bounced up. Yes! There's your chance, and there's nice. your great oh, shot for wow. two. Wonderful stuff. Very nice. One for sure. Yeah, one for one sure. For sure. Yeah. Now they're looking around to make sure, and Kathy says it's two. Two? Okay. And Kathy Aha. is right. <laughs> I love it. I knew that was going. Uh, right. <laughs> Kathy's right. <laughs> Nova Scotia extends their lead. He could barely choke that out, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight peel. Okay. Nixon's around really nice here, so it shouldn't do anything weird. Sounds good. You got it, Chelsea. Yeah. 
You said earlier, Russ, you think this. It's a nice, easy appeal here. Alberta team looks sharp. In what respect? Well, th to come out, the way Jennifer Jones performed in the uh, Hot Shots, and to come out and play the defending champion in the first game, and yep. uh, yep. get a steal of yep. four, and, and really didn't let Jennifer back in that game. That was impressive in itself. And then you don't, you, it's easy to let down after that. They played really well in their second game, and obviously, huge control here. They're, they're one of the best hitting teams in the world. Um, and I don't see a lot of draw shots being missed. You know, Good Amy's missed the odd Good one shot. over her career, maybe a foot or two heavy, and uh, she's made a lot Very of nice them. And, and once they get ahead, nice. look out. It's a nice third. Really yeah. I think it's a good it. fit with Amy and Chelsea because, you know, Amy so. playing with Shannon, they were more of a hitting team, kind of solved their problems with the hit. Mm -hmm. And um, Chelsea's the same way, so it's yes. a good fit that way. No question. Time to split the rings here. Think of all there, girls. Come all there. Whoa. We've talked about how quick this spot oh, gets. Oh, it's it's good. Good. Now. Yeah, it's hard. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, guys. yep, 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 yep. yep. Even, make them even. Nice, Carla. Good feet. And they are even. Good. Good. All you can do no, is become sh Your way, Joss. shot rock good. here. That's Sounds the key. Good. Is there a normal or easy? Just normal, I think. Okay. Otherwise, it's just free draw for two. Yeah, you might get a mistake on the hit. Mm -hmm. Typically not the draw. You got it, Chelsea. Nice, normal. Wait, nice. Yep. Chelsea Carey. Yep. Yep. Final stone. Hard, Jippy. Right Clean. to it. Clean. Last rock whoa, belongs whoa, whoa, to uh, BC. Clean. 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 Very nice. Very nice. Funny. It's good. All right. It, it, you know what's funny? Just that little bit, yeah. she, yeah. she yeah. reminded her again. Yeah. We're coming your yeah. way. Just that all little right. roll means it's shot rock. Makes all the difference. Well, like I say, they really look sharp here. All right, okay. Let's try this one again. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just one shot in the Jennifer Jones game because Jones' uh, team played well also. Uh, a rematch of those two teams would be quite interesting, but. Uh, it was a steal of four that was set up with some wonderful shot making. Chelsea made two turnaround raises, just perfect. You can tell Easy all 10. the work this year has come yeah. together. Right up to it. And rolls it to the center line and two for BC right. here in the ninth. Alberta, though, still leads it by three, and they'll have the last drop. Welcome back to Grand Prairie, Alberta. It is Sandra Schmerler Day on TSN. We are helping babies in crisis, and you look at that total, $184,000. We want to get that going. We want to get the phones going in the background. And very cool, we also have special guests, Sarah and Jenna daughters of Sandra Schmerner, which is really cool. I know you guys have taken a big role in the foundation as well. How proud are you of this legacy? Amazingly proud. It's a great honor to be a part of it and to be asked to come so far. And it's just awesome. I love being here. How special is this? It's been awesome. Yeah, all the people that we've worked with and the cause we're working for. It's just incredible. That is amazing. You should be so proud of your mom as we are. What an amazing Curly. So just keep in mind, folks, we're raising money for Babies in Crisis right across Canada, here in Grand Prairie, and right across our great country. So you got the number, you can call, you got the website, you can donate. Sandra Schmurder Day right here on TSN. And uh, Sarah following in her mother's uh, footsteps, uh, now 18. She's in her first year at the University of Regina, and she's uh, qualified for the Western CIS. So really? she'll be going and representing the University of Regina, hopefully making it to the CIS championships 
as we welcome you back on this Sunday afternoon, day two of our coverage. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Eight to five, Alberta leads, leading and trying to win their third straight. They'll have the last rock playing the Yellowstones here in this uh, tenth. Yeah, Jenna, yeah. Oh, the younger uh, of the two, Jenna is a 16. She's more the artiste. She <laughs> is a, she sings and does a theatrical. She Still sings in a, uh, a choir. There's got to be a lot of pressure to be a curler coming out of that family. Mm-hmm. Oh, got to go, got to go. They work. Could have brushed that sooner. Just. We're still 11. Good throw. I was yeah. thinking half. I would have called you on more. Oh, good. Nice throw. Good throw, Sue. Good throw, Sue. No worries. Yeah, I don't think through Sue's thrown the tick shot yeah, very no. often in her. She's thinking the same thing <laughs> probably zero times. No. <laughs> yeah, we can take it there, Trace. Okay. Got it. Amazing how many times the team without hammer can actually physically sit three rocks here at the very end, albeit probably wide open. But you loop around one of them, they peel the guard. You loop around the other when they peel the guard. You could potentially sit three. Okay. That's fine. No, it doesn't hurt back there. You don't like the in? You want the out, Kate? No, I'd like to kill that. Kate. Thin's okay. Jocelyn comes from a big curling family. Her dad, Lowell, was the Iceman mm. at the Red Deer oh, Curling Club, so she's Iceman. been on the ice since she was a baby. Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> Canada game silver on her resume as well. The uh, Junior Olympics are going on right now. I think they're in Lillehammer, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Canada for Mary Fay. Congratulations to the uh, Canadian uh, mixed team. They picked up the gold medal. And uh, skipped the fourth by Mary Fay from Nova Scotia. Boy, I don't know if I'll be around to see her play, but I'm, I'd be looking forward to it. Yeah, what a great start to her career. Incredible. Now that red guard that's coming into uh, view here on the right hand good side, it could be split girl. on. Good. Good sweep. Straight peel. Chelsea could go with the other turn, but then if you roll your yellow one over and tick the top half of that corner red, you can tap it in the ring. So no need to get into that type yeah. of a mistake. Clean. Just make one go away here. Kristen Rexidler. Three uh, BC Junior titles to her credit. It's a young team as well. When there's only Carla Thompson, uh, previous experience, nobody else on the team. All of them here for a first time, and that's maybe one of the reasons too. You see the the uh, the fifth player, someone like Sasha Carter, with all that. Experience can lend center. some expertise, some Good information. Good Nova Scotia, Northern Good Ontario, as we uh, take a live look. And uh, Krista McCarville, final stone on the way. Well, and finally an opportunity for Northern Ontario for a relatively easy two in this game that's been a struggle. And that really started with Kendra Lilly bearing around a corner. And that is a shot stone right now. So needs full 12, Vic, for two. Oh, two. Oh, two yellows. And two it is. Hard, off. Off, 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 off. 
Took a little while for them to get going, but they have uh, a couple of deuces in seven and now nine. But that last rock, all important, this one. will belong to Nova Scotia. Your draw, your draw over here. I'd say maybe four Big feet. turnaround for Nova Scotia, losing the first game without the skipper and uh, came back and beat a talented Manitoba team. And uh, Northern Ons, a nice uh, team to knock off if they can complete it in 10. Yeah, it's always tough to be sick and not play your first mm. game of a Scotty. Oh. Sliding pretty good out here. That's good, Chris. Okay. Right. Try it that way and try to kill sure. that one. Yeah. Jam, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, with hammer, you jam it, it's behind the T line. One of these times, you think it's going to be the end of the world? Like, like we get that statement a lot. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Oh. Oh. If it is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're in terrible trouble. <laughs> Run it back, and we'll take oh, it out oh, the back. No, oh, not quite. Good throw, next. Wow. <laughs> good throw. That's what good throw. we mentioned at the top. There's, a, there's always this good really good possibility the team that's three down can sit three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought Jamie had that one. Difficult, though, for Carla Thompson. Has All to right, make them count four. here. Can Sitting the top deuce. Top. Okay. okay. Probably at this point in the game, the heavier spot in the sheet is coming into the center line where the pebbles worn yep. off a little bit. You got to give it a little extra. Good normal, like high size. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Put that baby up. Yeah, if she rolls out. Yeah. I think it just knows this. Yeah. I mean, it's as long a long as we kill, it's split, fine. but yeah. it's probably there because it's right on the center line. It's good normal here. You have to hope for a rollout first. <laughs> you got it, Charles. Yeah. Keep the boom down. Well, even getting rid of one would make that last shot for BC tough to split that center line mm -hmm. guard into sit three. No question. Clean. Good. Clean. Clean only. Chelsea Carey. anything up from that yeah. and it. it'll be a third yeah. straight win for Alberta make the final eight to five and BC and Carla Thompson from Kamloops will drop to zero and two but uh, Chelsea Carey sending notice early here that she's uh, going to be in this here in Grand Prairie. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada.
we have two finals. Two games remain on the ice. This one is uh, really one shot away from being a finalist. New Brunswick and Sylvie Robuchaud from Curl Moncton have a chance to uh, run Newfoundland and Labrador's Stacy Curtis out of Stones, leading 7-4. Uh, as Robuchaud gets ready to throw her last, you see uh, Rebecca Atkinson has the brush down. Both these teams coming in with uh, no win so far. So New Brunswick with this stone looking to even their record if they just make this go away. Jan Boyle, Marie Richard. And away it does go. And that will bring out the hands. And a 7-4 win for New Brunswick. To even their record at 1-1. One and, one. and Newfoundland Labradors. Slip to now zero and three. So the last game on the ice is on sheet C. Nova Scotia playing the Redstones with a two point lead, seven five over Northern Ontario and Krista McCarville. McCarville picking up the deuce in nine to make it closer. That all important last rock and the lead belong to Jill Brothers and her team from the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. McCarville, sorry, McCarville sitting the one center line, back button and covered by a couple of center guards, and they'll get rid of the tighter guard. Nice recovery there, a little speed wall early. Picks it out, then we draw behind. That was just normal for Ed Ware, Nick back in the day. I mean, yeah, yeah. So probably here. You were here. I was there. The last one. Yep. Let's go there. Yeah, that's been a big change in the sport. Uh, you know, obviously ice conditions have helped, and uh, you say fitness, but the um, okay, so there's only a handful of players that have really solid, balanced delivery, Very square shoulders, and you know, be able to slide to the broom um, really, really close. I think top eight. Yeah, so many more one, and then I kinda draw teams that, one, that have good deliveries now. The only thing is. Yeah. Kathy, you've been paying closer this attention to this game, and it, and it just appears from the score line that it's taken Krista McCarville just a little bit, bit of time to get going here. It really has. It's been a combination of things. For sure, Krista has struggled with putting two draws in the same spot. But in the first five, she had virtually no shots. If you think about the updates, she was trying to run rocks that were 14 feet in front of the house on an angle on, okay. to get to the shot stone. So she really didn't have much support from her team early. And then her team got stronger. And Krista's just struggled with getting those rocks in the right spot. And uh, for her, of course, tonight, she'll take on uh, Team Canada and Jennifer Jones. Northern Ontario champions from the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay. Over curl. Did. You could see almost all, but I thought if she could only see half of it, it's better. She at least has to play it. Yeah. What do you got, Bliss? How much? You know, she's also hooked herself up. Uh, Krista McCarville has with a young team. Uh, her lead and second. There's only uh, three other, uh, two other Scotty's appearances yeah, compared to McCarville. This is her fifth. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was so impressed with her as a skip. The last few years she played, she just, oh, she's yeah. got a good game, end by end management. She's a tough skip mentally. She made everything last night against New Brunswick too. Like just like I mean everything. You kind of love to hang around here. Want to get near that top yellow though and crease Whoa. off of it. Whoa. Easy, easy. No, A lot no. of speed here. No, no, no. Go, Bliss. Yep. Jill Brothers. Whoa, whoa. You get that in the exact same spot with any less weight, you're good. I guess so. Yep, right here. <clears throat> so so tuck it behind. There. Dave, to sit the two do, yeah. and force good. Nova Scotia into a draw. We mentioned this is uh, McCarville's return to uh, Scotty's play. Okay, four foot this time. Yeah. First time since 
2010. Back, as long she as we get by, finished third that amazing, year, winning right? the bronze medal. She beat the defending champion Tracy Fleury three times in the uh, Northern Ontario Scotties to Un win the right. Undefeated. 7 0 in the North. Okay, go then if you need to. Line's good. You have room. Little room right now. Where are we, guys? Sarah? Whoa. Whoa. Sarah? Stay close, Sarah. Sarah? Looks a little hot, but some of these are coming down quite a bit as they get Take to the center line. Go. Needs to curl, hard, too. Hard, hard, Sarah. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, hard, hard. Keep going. Oh. Whoa, that did stop. Holds on to the back edge of the four. Now, depending on what you can see, you're up by, you're up by a deuce. Do you guys like the draw? Yeah. Yeah. Would okay. you uh, just play the uh, get rid of the shot yeah, stone and that. and go uh, home with a 7-6 win, or do you play the draw as they've decided? I think it's personal preference, Joe. Yeah, I do too. I, I, mean, I like the draw, and if you've been confident in the draw through the game, play it. She missed yesterday's opening draw because of the flu. Returned this morning and led her team to a, a convincing 9-3 win over Manitoba. And now has a chance to make it a two-win day. Have a look. Full eight. This is really sliding. And look at that. She's going to slide through. And it's going to be the steal of two for Northern Ontario. <laughs> Just when she thought she was feeling better. <laughs> Gives up the steal of two. And we are going to go one more. Coming up Tuesday, you can see the uh, Predators against the Maple Leafs. Catch it at 7 p.m. Eastern on TSN and in 4K in the Leafs region. For more information on 4K and channel listings, visit tsn.ca slash 4K. So Nova Scotia starts off. Look at that result, that scoreline. Two, steal, steal, up 4-0. Four, 4-1, four, five, now. That's where the turnaround came for McCarville in Northern Ontario. And then, of course, that last rock draw, heavy through, results in a steal of two for Northern Ontario and the team from the Fort William in Thunder Bay. So we're even at seven as the uh, skips make their way down to the far end for this extra. And once again, it'll be Nova Scotia who does have the last rock. And uh, Jill Brothers has to gather herself up. Krista McCarville will look to steal the win here in this extra. And it will be Nova Scotia that does have last rock playing the Red Stones. To get us underway, this is Sarah Potts. The last thing I said no, that no, I would no, throw no. the draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, turn off her microphone, please. It's enough of that. You know, the only thing when you're throwing that draw, though, is I think you tighten the ice up a little bit. Yes. You know, you got a little backing. You're probably going to be a little pumped. Two brushers. Uh, we watched it in the uh, Saskatchewan game. Same type of thing this morning, where you you just watch the in this case the Northern Terror Rock slow down a little bit. So the first thing you do is up your weight. As soon as you up your weight, it's not going to curl soon enough to get into that slower area. And then, yep. You're going to be heavy all day. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go, Sarah. How much? Over Higher. Well, coaching this team from Northern Ontario is uh, Lorraine Lang and. Of course, the two-time Canadian 
a world champion with Heather Houston, and as she watches from the coaching bench, she's watching her daughter, Sarah Potts. And uh, we've seen Rick Lang here. And he's come to Grand Prairie to watch his daughter play. Well, we got to cover this one. It'll be close. Mine's good, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Yep, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's over. Okay, get it over and whoa. We're good. Good, good, good. Whoa. Well, now we're over, girl. Do you want to make it good or try to feel that? Good separation, though. Those are hard to throw, the just over, especially late in the game. You could peel your own red one here, too. You can't see a lot of it. But that's, even though it's in the free guard zone, it's your rock. That's the dangerous one, isn't it? We see enough to peel it. Mm-hmm, even if you threw board or just play the tick again. <clears throat> You're going to go right around. Nothing wrong with that either. It's, it's, uh, curling's a funny sport, Wait, isn't it? Where you, Room right now. you play the come around here as opposed to maybe the uh, defensive call. If you don't make this, it's so easy to say, oh, we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but it's, it's all about execution Wait, at this point. Still got room. Okay. Back <clears throat> Come on. Trying to slow down. Okay, Tara. <clears throat> Not the spot. Uh, Not yeah. the Eli, spot. Even tapping the hair, Just that yeah. little bit yeah. too deep. Eh? Freezing, get shot. Well, wow. Not only if it's frozen here, I don't know what you do, but if it's a foot higher, then when Northern Ontario has to bump it, there's a good chance they'll roll open. Now they don't have to bump it, so the line's much easier to uh, attain. Well, and there's really no need to come right around. E if you leave it open, just side edge to edge, you can use it if they play anything around it. It's kind of useless to you now. Yeah, it's kind of too late now. Yep, hard. Hard, Sarah, really hard. Hard. Another one a little bit wider, so it glides that hair farther. Hard, Sarah, really hard. Whoa. That's sweet. And right down on top, Ashley Sippel. Sure, eh? And as you said, Cheryl, there's so much separation. There's virtually no chance at the double peel at this point. Yeah, that was a great yep. guard just over. Yep. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. 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 Oh, no. oh, dear. Okay. Man, oh, man. Well, do you don't, not want to lock another one in there? Couldn't dream up a better situation here now. Well, it would dead jam anyways. Yeah. There's already two guards. Okay. Do you not like coming in at all right onto it? Yeah, well, I don't mind here. Well, I definitely, we can't bounce. That's the only thing, eh? Where are we calling the guard exactly? Well, I was thinking in between here. My only worry is double Yeah, I know. There's double peel option. Well, as long as we get I don't mind, as long as we go a little lighter, right? Okay. And if I'm forward, is it terrible? What's that? And if I'm forward, that's okay? Yeah. Okay. Because we don't want to be here and give her the, an easier double guard, either, but so. well, it shouldn't be an easy double. You don't want to be wide open with this either so yeah. that the, the yellow double can be made. I, I like coming in, though. I, I don't know what you're guarding with another guard. Right. They're already perfect. You're probably just making the double peel easier so you can come in you can come right in on top of it just as Krista okay, said you can't line. bounce off yep the line room gotta go for weight line's really good gotta go for weight line's really good weight's okay Sarah if anything go Sarah so Sarah hard, Potts Sarah. hard 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 we'll try to hard, pick it up Sarah. now the carry they wanted to be a little bit higher, maybe, but boy, does that ever sink. What a great shot. Hard, 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 hard! They're really hard, able to finish it in this spot. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, wow! Even more than Ontario's only throwing four rocks, I, I don't think I've seen a better situation. You've got backing, hard, you've got two buried, you've got the button covered, and the guards are separated one, so deep. And... I don't see what else we can play. 
I think we have to run it. Yeah, I think try and run it, Jill. And then if what? Yeah. <laughs> Odor in, Bliss. Odor in. <clears throat> The other problem, Cheryl, is if you ever get a crack at those yellows, the back red goes at the back of the forefoot. And how do you make that double without ch totally jamming? It's going to drag a little bit. A little less. Yeah. Throws it perfectly on the Hard. nose. Oh. You might be smart to uh, play that intern, come around, just jiggle them around and change, at least change those angles so there's a, a double. Yeah, good point. Well, this choice gets rid of the uh, high guard. She and uh, Jill won a Canadian Junior Championship together back in 2004. Even if you hit it this way, then you know, it's, it's tough to get that top one out. And if you hit it the other way, like that, this one could drag this way a wee bit. It'd be tough to become shot rock without having two tries at those yellows. We need a line. Line's good. Whoa, line. Whoa, line. Whoa. Where are we, guys? Want as well, much separation as you can. Get some separation, maybe. Don't line, yeah, them, don't line yep. them up. No. Uh, oh, oh, yep. oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that goodness. is not good. <sighs> that may drag back. Oh, it will. There's no question. Yeah. Put it on the center <laughs> line side. Big weight. Half. Yep. Key thing here is high side, and maybe right by the center line hits that rock, and then all the guards are gone, and they should come back and move those yellows around. Yep! Hard! Hard! Hard, Terry! Hard! Sarah Hard. Murphy. Bang. Oh, and it just drags by. Had to high side it. Yeah, anywhere from a quarter to a half, and it would have made it. Crossed it. Side of center, anyways. This side, yeah. Yeah. Go there. It's a little more ice. Okay. The red, yellow, still queued up to get something on if they hit it high side as opposed to what they just did, but uh, that might be taken away with this come around. Okay, line's good. Where are we? Okay, line's good. Line's good. Easy, easy. Oh, easy, easy, easy for line. Sit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit. <laughs> I guess that's okay. I think we gotta try that, eh? Yeah. Hopefully move these around a little bit. At least get that back a little bit. There's no shot at this point in time. You have to get those yellows moved out the forefoot. But I think from coming at this angle, Cheryl, yellow onto that high side of the red, it will actually drag it enough to get at those shot rocks. Well, Sarah Murphy's going to give it a go. Nope. No. Whoa. Catch anything? Catch something? Oh, she'll just run it by. This is a little bit more ice than yours. Just goes from Might curl a little bad to worse. So true. Yeah, that's okay. Two really, really good opportunities. Yep. A little higher than Kendra's. I'd say close to the same line. Okay, so like 410, 415, 420? Okay. Talking about a back line to hog split time of 4.20. Pretty nice surface, you know, 11th in, two practices. That's a lot line of rocks. Line's good. Just clean it, keep cleaning it. Line's, Line's good. good. Line's 
No. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a harder I think all three. If you know that you'll just get mm -hmm. by them. You kind of because we have to move this one now. Still high side that red one, Cheryl. I think I like it. I'm really surprised Northern Ontario didn't brush that to take that away. I think so, Sarah. They could yeah. have directly brush that and get a little more curl. Well, and it probably gives you Sarah both knows? sides if mm -hmm. you make it. You've got two options. I'm not sure what this does, unless they're trying to run it straight there, back. There. I think that's what the call mm, was. Okay, wow. It's tough. Just a reminder that the uh, phones will remain open when we're away for a couple of hours. On this is Sandra Schmirler Telethon Day, all in support of neonatal care centers across Canada. There's the number. SandraSchmirler.org is the online donation destination. So timeout has been called by Nova Scotian coach uh, Daryl Nowlin is out. She said, she said we looked. We That's where those are lined up, but if you hit it on this side, you'll drag it in that way. Same thing. I think there's enough room to get there? Yeah, I do. I do. And then, and then you get this type of action where it maybe gets into this way and at least kicks this back a bit, maybe moves that one over, and then you might have something in your last one. Yeah, I know, but. They straight back. I didn't think I was being slow. I think the best you could possibly do is get the top four foot rock, and you're still in trouble. And you leave a guard there. We're going to stay with it. Yes. Is the raise double the even there, Cheryl? Well, can she clear those two stones as well? It's yes, going to be very yes. tight. It's going to have to feather. Trying to hold it and run it back, and nothing. Okay. Now that red stone mm -hmm. having moved over. Is that something she may be able to drive in with her last? Yeah, the run double, uh, the uh, shot rock on the button will take that back red out, but if you hit it and stayed perfect, you might be shot rock. Okay. I think we have to do that. They weren't paying a lot of attention to that roll either. That's something to be on to make sure you maybe got a out at the end. What does she have on the side for one? This red. Want to just call a time? Sure, yeah. Time out. Oh. I, we don't know. Does this? That's not there. This is not there too. Is it what? It. The only, my only worry is this skating across. Scooching this way. enough for this one to get shot. It's, it's because tough. what? What does it's she have? Tough. What does she have on this side of the sheet? I'm saying if she has, yes. But that's going back on here. I think all day. <laughs> I'm just thinking it. Kind of yeah, I was thinking up anywhere from here. No, like this one is definitely taking this one off then. Yeah. Do you think? It looks like it would jam on the back one. I'm just worried that with the houses being so lively, that that could skate yeah, across. Yeah, scooch across to here. But then, and then, and then this shot. might take that out. But then her sticking a shot there. I think I think we gotta call this. Yeah. She's going to have this, but it's not the end of the world, right? No. No, like no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, let's go, Krista. Well, there's still this okay. drag shot if Hers you get the angle to change a little bit. Sarah was the one cutting it in. You might be able to make that double. Like, yeah, true. Okay. Problem with that is it's all yellow ones coming in. I think the easier chance for Team uh, Nova Scotia is this shot here with a pile of weight kick that one out yes this one's going back here but you only have to get it to move back maybe to there to be shot rock if you absolutely stick that raise double perfect so where does mccarville go uh cheryl well i think to take that away you come in top eight foot and then that's now in the way of that red run back they talked about short was maybe their error but i think they'd like it top eight even top four Lots of room right now. 
Hold on, you got lots Hold of room right now. Where are we Line's going? Okay, Sarah. Line's okay, Sarah. Line's good. Line's good. Room right now. Okay, go, Sarah. Go Line's Sarah. good. Hard. Sarah, line's really good. Hard. Hard. Keep going hard. 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 Need to bring it a little hard, bit hard, more hard. if they're going to take that red away. All right. Nice shot. Good sweep, guys. Not sure they did. It's definitely there, but definitely have to stick it perfect to start with and then I don't know. So it's also a case of time as she else. looks down to 20 seconds remaining final stone. The game was hers Whoa. up until that heavy draw Close. giving up Whoa. the steal. Has she Whoa. got a miracle here? <clears throat> Angle this back okay. off and Good by time. and will not. And my goodness, okay. Northern Ontario okay. and okay. Krista McCarvel yeah. will pick up two. They come back with a steal of two and ten. And they end up winning it, make the final 9-7 to improve their record to 2-0 and oh, Nova Scotia, 1-2. So top of the table, Alberta at 3-0, and followed by Quebec, Northern Ontario now both still undefeated. And as we make our way through British Columbia, Newfoundland, Labrador, still looking for wins number one. So tonight, when we're back with you at 8.30 Eastern Time, we will have, again, multi-sheet coverage. Kathy Bryan will have Northern Ontario against Team Canada on TSN 3 and 4. We'll be back with you for Ontario and Manitoba on TSN 1 and 5 when we join you again at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So a dramatic finish as a Northern Ontario comes back to steal the win. Quebec looks good against Saskatchewan and Alberta. And Chelsea Carey there on top of the table with three straight wins. Till we talk with you again, thank you for joining us. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts from Grand Prairie on TSN. <laughs>